I cup. Oh? How? How? Spell I cup. <laughs> I see you pee. Hey guys, <laughs> what's going on, gamers? Duke's camera was straight up a fucking J.J. Yeah. J. Abrams movie. Oh, and we were like, he's going into the light. You might have you don't know, I, I was sent down by our Lord and Savior, Greg's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I was going to say, the fucking the Greg's shirt, dude. Holy fuck. That's a top tier shirt. That's a good one. That shirt. That's a good one. The Greg's shirt and the Wayne's World hat. Who is this guy? Fucking solid combo. Hmm. All right, hey gamers, we're here. Look at us, back to weekly shenanigans. Holy shit, we're doing it. Um, we are anagans. down a beanie and a bell today. Uh, I think Bell has commitments with their partner. With the family, I think so, yeah, the family. family commitments. A oh, family commitment. Go back to uh, Newcastle. Ethan is uh, taking care of uh, a relative as well. So both both away because of uh, family related business. But the rest of the gang is here. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, today's session should be fun. Going into the Whispering Woods, and there's just a lot of RNG involved because I basically have this list of like areas, and the roll of a die die will determine what you see and what you won't see. So that's gonna be fun. Um, but yes, before we get to all of that goodness, uh, Duke, what's in your mouth? Your mum, mate. Mm. Okay. It's about time. Um, Tex Mex, pasta, chicken. Go on, go on, go on. Um, yeah. How we doing today, gamers? I know, I know. Fucking dude, it's summertime is happening, and it's just gonna be hot, random, random days of the week. Today it's not as bad here, but it's gonna be third degrees again for like a couple of days this next week, and I'm not looking forward to it. Fucking hell. But uh, yeah. We hate the sun. Yeah, fuck the sun, dude. Yeah, yeah. If you don't have an AC unit, losers. Hey, bro. True. No need, to be honest. That's a bit unnecessary, I feel losers. like. But, um... The only AC in this household is... The Antichrist. I don't I know. I thought you were just going to say no. it's armor class, because we're playing D&D. &D. Like, that would have been, right been a better there. one. That would have been better. It was right be there fair. for you. Yeah. <laughs> no, Duke's not in there. He doesn't play Dungeons & Dragons. <laughs> What's armor class, huh? What is, why, why are you? Why is everybody class? I only know Thacko. <laughs> oh my god. But why yeah, are we it's good to be here again today. Like I said, it's going to be fun. But before we get into all of that, do we have anything that we want to share with the class? Any announcements? Anything to promote? Yeah. Or whatever? Reminder that on Wednesday, three days from now, is my yes. nine year anniversary stream. And some of the gang here are going to join me. We're was bringing Mike back. A little, a little staticky for yeah, me? it's like is staticky. It? For... Oh, oh. All of a sudden, it just started. I don't know Let's why. Shoot. I don't. I can try and fiddle with some settings afterwards. Mm, I haven't strategy. changed anything. Let me just check. Um, but it yes, like on suddenly, Wednesday, it suddenly happened. Like it wasn't before, and now suddenly it's. That's very you know, odd. Yeah. It kind of it kind of has been, but I didn't know if it was Laura or me. Oh. Well, yeah, I thought my. Um, I, I just started hearing <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, so. so I hadn't heard until just now. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, you were fucking deaf for me. Yeah, but before I deafened, everything's fine. I can, after I says I can maybe like Before disconnect and reconnect guys. for like two seconds. So cameras will be weird for like a second, but it wouldn't be long. Yeah. But yes, nine My year favorite stream, thing actually. We're playing Overwatch. Sorry. They're going to be joining me. There's going to be all sorts yeah, of yeah. incentives um, that what can time? fuck around. Uh, I literally time? plan on starting probably around like uh, 11 or noon ish my time, maybe, which would be like evening for you, and then going like later so that I'll basically I can be get able to join and... like. Wednesday, like an hour before we start D and D, so like an hour ago on Wednesday, I'll probably yeah, I'll be, be I'll be live by then. Day. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. But yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun yeah. bringing back what is uh, apparently the most played game on my. That channel. doesn't surprise me. You a were a big yeah, we're just like a hard grinder for like years on that for, for years. a while. Yeah, and because I did it both as a PlayStation streamer and a PC streamer. Yeah, so yeah. Exactly. It, it, it spanned both eras. So like, even though <laughs> literally you had a diva gun, probably for... still do. I still do. Even though you've taken a break for a few years now, your Overwatch yeah. is still heavily ingrained in the Laura K streaming history. <laughs> I do wonder what Apex is probably my most played game on stream. Like, is there a way to check? Mine's definitely Easily. PUBG, for sure. I'm sure, there's a way to check, right? And like your statistics. Yeah, how do you check? James that? James looked it up. I can tell you how he figured it out because that's how he figured out Overwatch uh, okay. is mine. 
Because after Overwatch, sure, the other I'm, games I'm sure that are you'll most find played in your, in your dashboard somewhere. Like obviously, I can't check mine now because I'm logged into the DM yeah. channel. Shock, shock, he, guys! He Mine's definitely websites. Pokemon. He was using websites like like Sully Gnome or other things that are like yeah, like, Sully Gnome is a good one if you want yeah. Twitch stats. True, yeah, hold on. Sully yeah. Gnome. Oh my god, Sully Gnome. Not... But yeah, you can look it up. But yeah, that so that's happening be. Wednesday. Make sure you're there because it's going to be a good time. And if we hit our, if we hit our first donation goal, then I will be watching videos submitted by the chat or these guys or anyone who wants to to try and make me laugh. And if I do laugh, I have to do the last dab hot sauce from Hot Ones. So and every time I laugh, I have to do it. So yes, and sir. and everyone will have at least one chance to submit something for me to watch that they think will make me laugh. So it should be a good time. And then the latest episode of Call of the Nether Deep is uploading to YouTube right now on my other computer. Yeah. So it'll be up by tomorrow. I just gotta have James make a thumbnail for it. If you if you watch that campaign. Yeah, when uh, we gotta talk about that, Laura. Actually, uh, I don't know when you guys plan on doing your next session. But if I'm, you know, August third next weekend is the next one. Next Saturday. Um, how many? We'll talk about it, but like, if I'm yeah, going yeah. to be coming back for the, the final stint, I want to. Well, so there's like twenty something chambers in this last final like dungeon crawl, and they did two chambers in one session. Okay. And I feel like the later ones might get some might be faster, might be longer. They're, the these the starting ones are probably longer. So yeah, there's probably still like ten more. Maybe like anywhere from five to ten more sessions before they just are yeah. Whenever you feel like play. like I'm whenever you feel like you're welcome like, to join back in whenever. But if you want to specifically only show up for the final fight, that'll still be a while. Whatever whatever you think is a good point within that dungeon that it makes sense for me to come back, as well as like whatever you think might for like storytelling purposes might be the most impactful. I guess I'll kind of leave it up to you yeah. what you feel like is is best. Okay. So if that's I'll, I'll go back if to that's the final session, if that is the final three, if that is the final four, like whatever you yeah. think is the best way of doing it, you know. Okay. Crazy thing that that campaign's kind of, kind of coming to a close. Well, I, I joked. I was like, guys, we need to finish this campaign before Briar has uh, her baby. Otherwise, this campaign, like two children, were created during the course of this campaign. Dude, I for, Briar I, dude, players, I and that's why I forgot that Briar's pregnant. Holy fuck! Yeah, that's true. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> What the hell? And, I missed like, that one. And, and like Kay, oh, did you? Kay show, <laughs> yeah. Like Kay, Kay's um, kid, Beeb, uh, of course, never on camera, but like stream had ended and he came on quickly to say bye to just us before. And I was like, holy yeah. shit, how is he that big? How is your child that old? Because this campaign started before he even existed, before he was even yeah, yeah, yeah. A, like a, a ball of cells. And now he's already like just fucking big. Wild. Fucking we're, babies, babies grow quick. Like the first few years yeah. of baby Please. like fucking pfft, crazy um anyone else with some announcements any, any cool koiba what's in your mouth buddy what's the, i guess this will be the, the snack bit go on rap rap it does it's, like rap. it's rap it i will rap. really Yo, quickly wait, is it disconnect and mayo and cheese the lettuce. Mm -hmm. you're good. cheese lettuce like tomato fucking like chili beef or some shit in there as well also it's not as cursed as your mcdonald's wrap no no it's like mm -hmm. a proper one and then i also got some cheesy chips I had some pizza for and a kinder, and a kinder bueno milkshake. Oh my god, I fucking love buenos, dude. Mm, a fa I, I would dare say like top three, chocolate thingies. Like I guess chocolate, white chocolate, white chocolate kinder bueno go hard. Yeah, it's true. The white chocolate ones. Yeah, the white white chocolate's probably yeah better than the base one. For sure, for sure. I don't think I've ever had a white chocolate one. Hmm. I don't think I've ever had a white chocolate one. Good. I mean, You're missing it's, out. It's good. It's the exact same thing, but it's just white chocolate with hazelnut filling instead of plain chocolate. I just know? hate that we can't like like Kinder bars are so much harder to find here, well, and they're so expensive, are which is really annoying. annoying. Well, yeah. Well, not anymore if if they don't have the toy in it. Yeah. Yeah. They don't I have think the, toy, the whole fine. point. I think Kinder's like response to that whole thing was they the eggs they sell in America just don't have toys in it anymore. Or like they yeah. the toys are packaged separately or some shit. Like I don't know. I don't even yeah, think I think, I think so. there's just no toys, period. Really? That's crazy. That's the best part. Yeah. Though. You eat the chocolate and then you get to build a little fucking figurine. It's great. <laughs> Alright. Um I mean, should we just get get fucking rolling? Should we just get into it? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Alright. So, last we left off. Um the party continue traveling north. 
to reach the abandoned tower that marks the point for them where they're supposed to cut east straight into the woods. Having seen a spirit the night before asking for help, the party decided to enter the tower pretty much right as they arrived there, like towards like early evening time, I, if I remember correctly. Um, and you find yourselves stepping into a moment frozen in history. You met five spirits of five Empire soldiers that inhabited this tower, and you quickly learned that they were there on a mission to map out the Whispering Woods. Uh, you also learned that one of them found a black crystal and brought it back. It turned out that Malek, a shadow demon the party has faced before together with Sai, took control of the Imperial wizard Alonis and created a gateway from his realm in the Abyss to the Material Plane using the crystal, building it upon an obelisk uh, made from the remains of Alonis's fellow soldiers. You faced Alonis, who had become a demi-lich, as well as a group of shadow demons, and Malak eventually also joined the fight. You took him down and sent him back to his home realm yet again, causing the obelisk and crystal to explode, shattering everywhere, leaving behind a magical black pocket portal with a destination, the prison of the Mad God, somewhere in the abyss. You, uh, Elazarin then uses magic to let Sai know, and Sai replied. So if you... Uh, I don't know how well the volume will do here, but... We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what's going on. Hello, Lazarus. You have oh. succeeded where I have failed. I will be waiting. Good luck. So that is That's so cool. Sai replying to you as you use, I think it was sending or message, either or. Yep, sending. Sending. Yeah. So uh, that, is, that is the reply you get from Sai. Cool. cool. So now, you stand... You still stand, like, at the top of the tower in this workshop where you bested Malek and the Demi-Lich Alonis, as well as some Shadow Demon lackeys. Uh, I think... I, f I forget who put the pocket portal. I think... It's in the bag of holding. We put it's it in the, in the yeah, bag of holding. Yeah, we just, like, even though Jax wasn't there, it's in the bag okay. of holding. So, yeah, it's a pocket uh, portal yeah, to the, uh, just pocket portal. Just label it pocket portal. Abyss prison. pocket portal. Prison Abyss. of the Mad God. <clears throat> we we you used identify ritual cast at that because fucking and then <laughs> then we're like oh this is safe so this basically Soko because you weren't here last week basically uh, you now have a way to enter the abyss and enter Malik's home realm so you could whenever the party feels like it's time to do that you can basically team up with Sai again and like take out Malik for good and kind of bring, yeah we do it bring, today bring that like, chat to doing it do it right now. now. We did no, it right now. Vincent, I open portal. Vincent, Vincent's working, so no. <laughs> um, yeah, Vincent said he's, he's super down to uh, to come back and Yay! finish that storyline up with y'all. So I don't want him back. Okay. How dare you? Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, you, you're, you're standing in this abandoned, now abandoned workshop um, at the top of the tower. What would you like to do? Uh, rest is bedtime now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. It, t it has been a, just... a long day of travel and then also um, doing some investigations in. and uh, that fight because of some abilities that Demi Lich had uh, fucked me up fucking took a toll on, on some people <laughs> definitely some some. I, I feel peachy bro it's crazy, I feel huh? great yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely uh, a couple no. of people went down so it was, it was a rough fight Jack's funny gets up the staircase <laughs> you guys <laughs> <laughs> no, canonically he was there because he cast Identify on the thing, so we can't even yeah. do that. Oh, you are just no fun. <laughs> yeah, no um, fun DM. Obviously, you guys are able to long rest. Uh, you could choose <laughs> to do it inside the tower. You could choose to just make a, make a camp outside somewhere. I'll leave that up to you. I mean, the tower yeah. seems more chill now because we know the ghosts have left. Although I guess we should go downstairs and check for sure that the ghosts have left. Yeah. Okay. Do that. Go see downstairs. There was a, there was like a weird them. ethereal thank you when we yeah well, did when, some when we, I think when we defeated the demi lich. When the demi lich defeated said thank you the we... uh, you guys saw like this flash of green as this like green energy kind of traveled up the tower and just kind of like shot out of the hole in the roof which kind of indicated to you that that may have been 
Like you may like Alanis may have been the anchor that kept all the spirits from moving on. Yeah. Destroying him seems to have been the key to letting them all go. There was an ethereal ejaculate. Yes. Ectoplasm. Right. Fuck audio. Fuck. <laughs> well, then, if anyone, if no one's opposed, I don't mind camping in the tower. In the tower. Like, yeah, free shelter. You know why not? I will still cast the dome, though. <laughs> I was gonna say we have free shelter. But like, one that doesn't even take. It's any a ritual expense cast. of magic. It's a ritual cast. Ritual cloth. But don't don't ever don't you all have to squish inside that thing if you want to use it? Whereas here, just it's, feet. it's a six space. foot radius, isn't it? It's, it's not feet six across. foot. Also, like, like Jax like is more than it? six foot tall. No. Jax lying down takes up over half of it, like from end to end. Like <laughs> it is. Uh... I thought it was like relatively pretty big. It's a ten foot radius. A ten foot radius. So it's twenty feet across. Yeah, got a lot of space. That, that, that fits all of us, for sure. Yeah, sure. No, that that yeah, sure. will fit. That will fit. Also, I'll go outside and get back in my robo body because I was outside of it. Body yaddy yaddy yaddy. Yeah. yeah. So we eat. Body you... crazy curvy way you big titties. You're staying little upstairs, waist. or are you heading downstairs? Like, are you just doing it right there in the workshop, or are you you? Head, I mean, downstairs down? is a little less creepy, at least. Yeah. Well, actually, it's weird. probably now that the magic is gone. Is it all decrepit, dilapidated, and, and nasty? Uh, the workshop itself has the same look to it. It's just this like abandoned, creepy, empty. Uh, yeah, yeah. But if you uh, if you go to have a little peek down the first ladder at least, you'll notice that it's definitely uh, the inside of the tower definitely matches mm. the outside of the tower a lot more with uh, just a bunch yeah. of like cobwebs everywhere, dark, uh, the tapestries on the walls all torn and rotten, the furniture mostly Well, rotten. Oh, okay, hold it's on. Question much... for you. Mm -hmm. If the illusion has persisted since you know whatever event cleared out the tower yes and the illusion was corporeal how were spiders making cobwebs that we couldn't see magic that's like magic <laughs> magic spiders i mean it's dnd such a thing oh, very spiders. easily exists. They're just ghost spiders, yes, you know? Yes, the uh, inside of the tower now, definitely. It's no more, no longer that frozen in history, pristine yeah. looking inside. It's very much just an abandoned, abandoned, dilapidated, unkept tower. Well, I mean, a roof over your head's a roof over your head, I suppose, especially with that, as far as we can safely presume, horrible curse, whatever, completely magicked away by our heroic actions. Mostly mine. Fine. But I wanted to argue, and then I was like, I did very little, <laughs> so I can't say shit. Other than I kept Brooks from dying, that's about it. I mean... Sure. I mean, you kept everyone in general from dying, but specifically, Brooks was one roll away from death, and I healed him before that happened. So I did keep Brooks alive. Oh, no. That, I've got no quarries, but that's fine. Shame. <laughs> I'm what? You know. Davin. Just, you know. Yeah. Just doing my best to uh, keep my my companions in line. In line? Because <laughs> oh. it's so unruly. Mm. To be well. fair, those two those two are, and I point at Brooks and Kiss, who are probably a bickering They're making out. right now. They're making out. <laughs> yeah. They're making out. <laughs> yeah, it's They're like arguing a... while they make out. They stop every so often to like complain about something and then keep going. No, yeah, Kess is like, you bit my tongue. And Brooks is like, <laughs> no, I did not. You bit my tongue or whatever. Are you that? <laughs> are you that? Are you that? <laughs> Uh, look, look, look. I, I don't want to take all the credit. Yes, I do. But I won't. <laughs> I think you already have. Just, isn't that what you do every 
time. Well, not undeservedly. You did do a very good job. I was made pretty useless that fight. So, you know. Now you know how I feel. I like a good... Well, uh, well, I almost feel as if I didn't fight at all. <laughs> oh. well, scratch on you. Who who wants to take first watch? Because I, I I will need a little bit of time where I'm just recovering again. It's really weird because I don't sleep, but I also need to like just make myself sit there and do nothing for so many hours just to feel. You've refreshed. got to rest your mind as well, Daigon. Not just you get to sit there and watch Kessel Bucks make out for four when hours. When I was, you know, a, a monk still, because there was like an active meditative kind of vibe. This isn't like that. But, you I'm know good, what I mean? I'm, but I, I'll take the second half of watches, because then I'll be awake and I'll be good to go. But I'll, I'll stay up. Be fine. Just for, for sure? my sake, uh, nope, I may have missed where I, I may have missed you guys mentioning it, but like, what floor of the tower are you guys? Top floor, baby. Like, all of oh, in, in the creepy the... workshop. Uh, really? <laughs> really? Uh, Meaning? Yeah. Well, the bottom floor seems well, way more Well, wouldn't you want to be like, on the bottom because then you're an exit. Isn't the middle floor literally like there. a dorm? Yeah, there were oh, yeah, like, there I mean, is there a is dorm area. remnants of beds oh, there, like, but they are all very much rotten and... But See, this little place doesn't have active rot in it. It'll be like, you'd probably rather rot. sleep on the floor than on those beds. Yeah. I feel like the top's probably the best place. Yeah. Well, also, you well, could hear, I guess you could hear anyone coming up the stairs. Because like, the dome blocks the weather, too, right? It blocks everything, but you know, that's yeah. not the point. No. The ground floor has an exit, and if I need to shit, I can just go out into the wilderness and shit. True. Oh, I can listen. Do, Can't do, argue do, with that logic. So I'm not the, going down two two flights heading, of stairs or ladders or whatever just to have a fucking. You're heading to the ground floor. Number window. two. Yeah, yeah go ground. We we'll just do it. You can always jump off. As you uh, reach the the ground floor, you'll notice that on the 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 now heavily rotted, broken down table that you previously mm -hmm. saw all the soldiers having dinner at, there's this small. wooden crate on top of it um and you can see some faint ethereal kind of like green uh light kind of emitting from it i'd like to use my rod of magic detection uh yeah you detect several magical things from inside that box what whatever's in those magical and Multiple Smells like quest rewards. <laughs> or uh, then other go ahead ghosts and touch it. Spirits who are in there. It's the box ghost. I am the box ghost. <laughs> um, fuck it. Uh, does it look, there's any like runes on the side of it that may be, might be trapped? Make a perception like check. Right? Uh, twenty one. It just seems like a very mundane looking chest or like it's more it's like a, it's like a crate. crate there's no lid on it it's just this, this, this like crate with like an oh open just look. i'll fucking look in the crate then fuck, fuck it as you and look into the like... crates you can see kind of this like green ethereal like hue kind of like escaping from it as soon as you put your hands mm -hmm. on the crate and it kind of like mm. attaches to you and kind of travels up your body and then it eventually shoots up in these in the in the sky and you hear a faint voice the back of your head. Thank you. Or it fades away. And inside the box, the spirits you are trapped. You find a coin purse with inside it fifty platinum. Cool. As well as a magic-looking <clears throat> scroll, and you've, you've you've seen spell scrolls before. Um, mm -hmm. let me see. You recognize the writing on this because you're a cleric. A spell scroll mm. of greater restoration. Ooh, yoinkies. And you also see two potions. The first potion is a uh, potion filled with a transparent liquid with a sliver of fingernail floating inside it. The second potion is a dense purple liquid, but it has a small cloud of pink floating in it. 
uh, earn two spell slots and I was gonna say uh, I'm about to rest yeah identify those uh, it is have, a like, all my potion slots. of stone giant strength and the purple okay. potion is a potion of mind reading there seem to be some rewards magically conjured up uh, for you for quick helping. question with spell scrolls do you need the material components for them? Um, I don't, I don't think, think so. They just need to be on your on your you, list, yeah, right? Yeah, you need to be able to cast the spell otherwise. Let me look, let me look. If the spell is on your class's spell list, you can read the scroll and cast a spell without providing any material components. That's dope. God. I am great at that thing, yoinked. <laughs> Mine. So yes, because it is on the cleric spell list, you do not need to provide the uh, diamond Ooh. dust that you well, normally yeah it's like 300 and stupid it's only yeah, 100 gold i'm gonna go with a diamond oh oh that was more than great. Bad, but, but regardless oh, okay. it's, a, it's a free it's a free great restoration yeah. Well. yeah i'm just gonna fucking add custom item because you can't add specific yeah you can, you can add spell scroll fifth level and then just and put in the can, notes you can edit it in yeah, the notes that's saying that it's, in the notes it's put what spell oh, it is yeah. you guys are fucking clever mm-hmm we have a moment uh, but yes, those are some rewards magically conjured up for you for uh, aiding you know, that one particular ghost. Uh, the ghost of the soldier that was brutally, you know, the first victim of, of murder that happened in the basement. Reached out to you when you weren't at the tower yet. Uh, yeah. Um, yes. that, down here. Bless you. Yeah. Yeah, Thanks. there's there is plenty of room for you guys to kind of uh, to set up your uh, dome. What's it called? Your hut, your tiny hut, and yeah, my tiny hut. Camp uh, is there anything fun in the basement? Hmm? Is there anything fun in the basement? No, uh, it's just a bunch of em like, rotten crates. Some of them empty. Some of them have like hundreds of years old rotten supplies. Uh, not much there. For Boring. Lame. Cringe. Wait, what about in the little corner where we, where there was a ghost event? Oh, uh, yes. You see there a skeleton. Oh, no, thank you. And you assume that uh, might be the body of the soldier that got brutally fucking murdered all those years ago. Are, are uh, any of the are we, any of the crates whole? Um, yeah, you f you find, like, one or two crates that seem to be somewhat, like, they don't feel that sturdy anymore, even though the the, the wooden, <clears throat> the wood isn't rotten as much as the other mm. ones. It's still, like, a centuries-old crate, so it's not the, can the I, best Can condition. I put the skeleton into a crate as, a, yeah. as an ossuary and then sure, pick sure, it up sure. and, and bury him? Yeah. Now, well, that's nice. At the base of the tower. Uh, I will give me because Dagon doesn't fucking spend money, right? Dagon's not like a money person. Well, I can now that I, I have a body shit. to well, like, keep stuff on. Like before, it wasn't because it's like what I couldn't interact with or hold material possessions, but now I. Well can. then, I'll well then I'll give me Dagon and Davian uh, nine platinum. Everyone else gets eight. Oh hey. fuck. Well, it's 8.50 divided by 6 is 8.3. So I like, <laughs> I gotta give. So wait, how much? Nine. Nine platinum. Bro, platinum. I only have like five grand. Oh, oh only five grand. Only. I have. <laughs> I, okay. I only have a small load of one million dollars. Yeah. Hey, you guys, you guys keep handing me items. I sell them. You guys don't ask for the money. So I just kind of kept it, you know? Yeah. I mean, you're also the type of person to be like, I need a million pounds now. <laughs> So I, can craft, you... so I can craft something cool in six things. months. Yeah. In six yeah. months' time, it's true, gonna be really true, cool. True. <laughs> Artificers <laughs> tend to need much more money than. Uh, money. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've been was... working on this rare item for like the last like, like <laughs> almost a year IRL. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yep. It's, it's only been a couple of months. Fuck loads of money. It hasn't it's even been that. that. It's been a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Like it, I think it's we established. This I think we established last sesh that like the whole stint with Psy was like what three months ago in game or some shit like that. I think so, yeah. Oh. 
And that was like two years ago in real life. So yeah. Probably. Uh, but yeah, um, you do that, and you 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 give the 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 the, the, the imperial soldier a little a little a little burial, you know, a little more. Uh, what's the word I'm looking yeah. for? Respect honorable. Respe honorable. Honorable is the word. Respectable. And uh, if you want to long rest, uh, you guys were discussing watches. What's uh, yeah. what's the order there? I'll, I'll go on first watch. Yeah. I'll take a second watch. Yeah. And then I think I'd be good to do the last. Let me double check. I think you need four hours of shut eye, right? Yeah. Let's find out. So you can take over after the second watch is done and it'd pretty much be cool. Let's see. Let's dance. Uh, me. Uh, you still take shorter long blues. rests per usual and regain these re abilities, but do not require sleep. So I still take the whole eight hours. Oh, so I'm still just like not sleeping. Hours. Well, Brooks and Kess aren't here. Like, they are there, so we'll just say that they take a watch as well, and then boom, that's that's that sorted. You know what I mean? Fuck it, whatever. Uh, use them in that sense. I mean, like, I could take yeah. a watch. It's just I feel like if anything happens on that watch, it then becomes no longer a long rest for me because I actively did something. But if it's a watch yeah. that's uneventful, then because I'm awake, yeah, I'm true. just like true. Yeah, that'll be fine then. Sure. Yeah. Um, okay. First watch, Laszlo, right? Mm-hmm. Make a perception check. Uh, twenty-six. Twenty-six. You this this tower uh, is pretty close to the Whispering Woods. Uh, you reckon that the woods are about an hour away uh, on foot, so you are pretty close. And you you hear coming from your east, which is or like northeast, I guess, is where the woods are. Uh, you hear all kinds of strange noises faintly in the distance. But there's one noise that kind of sends a shiver down your spine. A distant but still loud enough roar Ooh. and this roar in particular you've heard before as Brixoff was one of the two dragons that attacked <clears throat> Andilon, uh, you immediately recognize yeah. that oh, you, this is the dragon you are hunting seems to be home somewhere deep in the woods yes it's like kind of good news. Uh, they're being home. a dark shire. <laughs> you know, he's not going to go to his house. He's just not in. Uh, <laughs> so um, we just take his treasure and go. Like like I said, it's it's very distant, but because it's so quiet mm -hmm. this night, and 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 you're pretty close to the yeah. woods, it's 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 loud enough for you to hear and and recognize that that is exactly who you are going into the woods to find. So which, we're not on a dragon hunt. We're gonna find a big Which one. is terrifying, but also <laughs> in a way comforting, knowing that he's home, so you're not you know, he you know that he's there. So you're not going into these strange woods for nothing, I guess. But it's it's still all even though you feel a bit better about the dragon situation since you've successfully killed one, um that kind of proved to you that okay. Maybe we are capable of doing this, but still, um, knowing that green dragons, the explanation you got about Brixoth and that, that, that he's manipulative and likes to stalk his prey is a hunter, knowing that these next few days traveling through the woods, you're going to have to always be on guard and always keep your head in a swivel does fill you with some concern. Other than that, your rest uh, or your your watch, not much happens, and uh, you quickly feel towards the end of your shift um, that today was a very tiresome day, uh, a lot of traveling, a lot of walking, and then a pretty uh, intense uh, fight with some very nasty creatures. At the end, you feel the sleep kind of sneaking up on you, and suddenly just feel exhausted. Um, so you wake uh, up yaks before I go to bed. Wake up yaks. Yeah. Right. Jax. Can I get a perception check, please? Eleven. Eleven? Um, besides the wind kind of because of all the holes in like the walls and the broken windows, the wind sometimes catches and makes these like kind of haunted sounding whistling whispery sounds which is a bit you know a bit bit spooky but uh, other than that 
you know, you hear the occasional creak of a wooden beam above you whenever the wind catches or the tower kind of, um, you know, the tower stands in the wind. But other than that, not much happens. Is there anything you want to do during your uh, uh, watch or are you just kind of vibing? Just kind of vibe, maybe tinker a little bit, but nothing too okay. stressful. If what the tower collapsed, mm -hmm. the dome would be fine. Uh, right? I don't know if solid objects would bounce off. Oh. Oh. Koiba? What? If the tower collapsed, right. the dome would be fine. Right? Hmm. See, <laughs> now, here's the thing. Because you can't burrow underneath the dome. Like, it no. is like a sealed bottom. Yeah. So. Same. Yes, but the second the eight hours is up, we fall. I think. Well, no, like or we just because we're on the ground floor. Oh yeah. If the tower fell on oh, top. Oh, on top. Objects are barred from passing through, so yeah. we would just be buried in this little pocket we'd beneath be the tower of like objects. And again, again, second the eight hours are up or I leave, we are crushed. Potentially, um, though, it could because of how long, how like how long it sat there, it might settle a bit to where we were actually stuck in a pocket and then that we died digging ourselves or, out because well, we unstabilized well, no, Or it. because of how it falls, it like goes around us. Well, that's what I'm saying, or, but then yeah. as soon as we try to dig out, it destabilizes. No, no, and but then like it would fall, the top, and then we'd be fall. like, oh, we can just climb, we can just, just climb, climb up. Oh. Or yeah. 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 before it ends, we just like teleport out from the dome via some oh, yeah, of the means, and then it collapses. Oh, yeah. We'll teleport out the only way I know how to teleport out, which is going all the way back to fucking... <laughs> no, we'll just temple. use the pocket portal and go to the abyss. To survive. Yeah, we're going to die. We're like, we're okay. being trapped. We're going to die. We're going we're gonna to die. We need to get out of here quick. I know. Worse than hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Double nice hell. thought experiment. But uh, yeah, uh, Jax, you're, 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 you know, you're tinkering. Your shift uh, ends and you feel... Ready to get some more shut eye as it's been a long day. And uh, Daigon, this is uh, you can you can you know you can kind of just vibe. You don't need to sleep, so you can kind of keep an eye on things without doing much else. Um, can I get a perception check, please? Yes. I wake up Brooks just to tell him that he doesn't need to actually wake up. Oh, you fucker! And he goes back to bed. <laughs> Six. Six. <clears throat> yeah. Um. You're not completely there. You're a little distracted. You're still a little, you know, it's been a long day. And same I for you died. as it goes for everyone else. Like, <laughs> okay. yeah, that too. And that same for you as everyone else. <laughs> um, you know, knowing that you're about to go into these magical woods that can have whatever the fuck in it and changes completely day by day, hour by hour even maybe. It's, it's, a, it's a bit scary. And you're trying your best not to, like, let it affect you too much. But, like, you know, deep down... <clears throat> It is a scary idea that you you know you're going after a dragon, very much in its own stomping grounds in woods that he knows very well, but you guys and anyone else on the outside knows very little, like painfully little about. Um, and especially now with the context that like the last group, the last known group of outsiders sent in there to map it out, completely fucked their mission up before it even started by finding this somehow finding this weird crystal and being kind of forced to take the crystal back, and their mission got uprooted before it even began. Um, you wonder what the woods will have in store for you. And it's concerning, scary, yeah. so you're, that's kind of where your mind is at, which means yeah. that you don't really pay active attention to what's happening around you. But luckily for you, uh, not much is happening. It's a quiet night. Um, you still feel this tower is... Uh, there is still some remnants of a of a presence here, um, given you know yeah. the context of, of the day before. But um, other than that, not much happens. And slowly, you can see through the holes in the wall and the broken you know the broken windows, the sun beginning to rise, and everyone else slowly begins to wake up from their long rest. As you are up and at him, bright and early. With um, today's mission, venturing into the Whispering Woods and trying to track a dragon to its lair deep within. What would you guys I like would... to start your day with? I'd like to start the day. Mm -hmm. 
by... So, did you say we're about an hour before getting about into About an hour's whiskey? march to get to the edge of the woods. Yeah, fuck it, I'll do it now then. Uh, and I will begin to look like making a breakfast. Okay. Uh, get out one of the gem encrusted balls Ooh. and I will cast Hero's Beast. Oh, exciting. Oh, shit. Okay. And it'll take me t 10 minutes, I'll be making this like cast into this bowl and then this massive feast just appears in front of us all. Um, mainly like breakfasty bits, very like hearty, like almost almost like a like a breakfast like buffet. Just like it's all you can eat. Whatever you want. Yeah. All you can eat, whatever you want is there. All inclusive hotel uh, vibes. Yeah. Uh we all gain fifteen hit points. Max added points, to our maximum. Right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And you heal for that as well. Uh I'm gonna make a note of that just in case. How long does it is it twenty four hours? Is that twenty four hours? And it's Huge. from the end of the hour. Guys, I don't know it's... if you can see. All you can't see. My cat, her her paws are like up in the air a bit, mm -hmm. curled up, and she's sleeping all real cute. And oh, oh. <laughs> I'm dreaming about something. <laughs> Did you hear me talking about you? Sorry, yes. she's, I'm, it's taking all my willpower to resist the urge to just go like disrupt her kind of comfy sleep and grab her and try and so force her. So at the end of the hour, so it, it, it takes an hour to cast, you mean? It takes 10 minutes to cast. 10 minutes. We then get an, an hour, hour to, eat, to it. eat it. Oh, and then right. at the end of the hour of eating it, that's when the twenty-four hours start. Right, right, got it. Yeah, damn. Okay. Um, you guys, just so you guys fully know what goes on with the hero's feast. Immune uh, to poison and fright. You, it's crazy. you, you are. Um, if you are diseased or poisoned, you no longer are. Um. All diseases Any and poisons. Going around? Um, yeah, yeah. So Brooks, whatever. You cannot be poisoned or frightened. Your wisdom saving throws are all with advantage. Uh, and you hit point maximum increases. Like, no, 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 I had, to, I had to make sure. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, so, isn't, isn't Brooks a werewolf? Maybe after Barovia, we don't know yet. It's been like, a while and nothing has happened. But... Yeah. <laughs> been a while. Um, Let me remove minus one ball. Hang on. So, wait, we wouldn't need our poison resistances anymore, then, right? Uh, Not for 24 hours. Uh, well, no, yeah. we're immune to the poisoned condition, but you can still take poison damage. Uh, is yeah. that what it is? Okay. Yeah. Let let me double check. Becomes immune to poison, saying, that's all it says. It's just immune oh. to poison. Then that means oh. Becomes damage immune and, to poison. Uh, but that is, you know, obviously, uh, that is assuming you find Brixoth's lair within oh. the next 24 hours. Yeah. Oh, I'm I mean, sad. Who I mean, rolled I the two No, I know, but... Me. Me. I would Elazarin have told us this beforehand? I would have just done it. Like, Elazarin was just wanted to do it before, like, going into there. Like, I have enough to do it again, if we, like, get a chance to. But I don't know. No, I was just wondering, because, like, I can switch our, um, infusions. If well, so. I'm not- well, I don't have that one, anyway, because I'm already- I do, food. though! Okay. I'm sad. I will say that. Why? I can't Dick. eat food, so I don't get any of this. Yes, you do. Yes, no, you I do. don't. This ghost food. This ghost hey, What if you're inside someone who eats it? I'm gonna say, because this is a- this is a party-white buff. I it's also better. a spell, like it's a spell. The sixth level I'll spell. I'll say, <laughs> and this is me just being, you know, this is me, like, sure, yes, mechanically you don't, but I feel like that's lame. I so, mean, I would accept it because that's part of the nature of what I am. Like, yes, I wouldn't bitch about it. But like, listen, man, I, it just hit me. I was like, I was writing it down, then I was like, oh <sighs> no. I, <laughs> I will say, I'm already, I'm already immune to poison as a ghost, so I already have that. It's just, it was more the advantage of wisdom nice saves too. and I the think, frightened thing. I think, that I think you, helpful. you partake in the feast. You are partake. You're here. You're yeah, <laughs> because like, like what I ghost like, food appears. This, this feast, ghost food appears. It's, it's more than just food. It is this act Drink. of all being together, sharing some time, sharing a meal, and having these this like being heroes. Being heroes, we're about to do something super dangerous, kind of this like bonding moment. So I'll say that, and like, then that maybe is do enough. you want to give me just the mental stuff, like the wisdom, the frightened, but I don't get the extra HP? Okay, since that yeah, would that's come a good from compromise. the physical benefits sure. of sure. the food. That's, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we'll do that then. And I'm already immune to poison as a ghost, so that's yeah, fine. Go. 
The only thing you're missing out on really is, an, is the, the, the hit points. Temp HP, which is it's, fine. It's not temp HP, it's, it's temp actual, actual HP. HP. It's actual yeah. HP. Well, it's temp for 24 hours. It's just fancy. It's just, it's just healable temporary hit Yeah, I guess. It is a really temporary is. increase to hit point maximum. Yes. Yeah. Dude, it's been so long hmm. since what I've, the... like, messed with my infusions. I forgot what my infusions are in my fucking, like, sheet. And I'm trying to <laughs> on, dude. Probably under your class feature somewhere, right? Features no, they're actually somewhere. at the bottom of inventory. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why? Hmm. Well, it's there now. I guess because right. they are technically um, they are items that you tinker or something. That's probably why, maybe. Yeah. Mm. So I get. I'll tinker with your items, little man. Okay. Um. Yeah. Would you guys all partake in the feasts and feel pretty damn good? Dagan, what's your robot body AC? My AC in that is sixteen. Okay. I'm going to use my extra infusion that I have now that I don't need the poison resistance to... Because I would say the body counts as armor, right? Yeah, Basically. it's fucking... It's, it's armor a, it's, for it's, my squishy. It's, um, it's, it's a mech suit, essentially. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I'll, 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 I'll take a so little bit to put my enhanced defense infusion to give you a plus two your armor class. <gasps> Yay! And is that just until you tell me otherwise? Until I get rid of it, yeah. So okay. Probably until the next dragon. Gotcha. Semi permanent. Okay. Oh. Heroes. Ragtag fuckwitch. <laughs> Eaton. You know the next step. No. You guys ready to venture out? Yeah. Hey. Wait, how much HP do we get? I'm stupid. 15. 15. 15. Oh, good one. I, I just overrode my MX. I rolled a 6 and a 9. I rolled a 6 and a 9. Well, funny. Funny number. Let's go. <laughs> Okay. Didn't even mention it before. Now I kind of cringe. <laughs> what? Oh. Um. <laughs> so. Booyaka, booyaka. You guys are heading out. Wait. Yes. The jungle is massive. And you guys. So we we were told to turn eastbound. Yeah. Make a hard you night to reach the edge of the whispering woods. As you approach uh, a similar site as the last time you ventured to its woods, but from the opposite direction. It's this yeah. wide thick brush of trees ahead of you uh impossible to see through or see like you know look through or between the trees to see what's next and as you approach the border before you venture in um it is quite a thick brush and a tight squeeze so i would like to establish a marching order for from here until you guys leave the forest essentially uh and i'll give you some key roles there is that whoever leads the pack will be in charge of guiding them you know tracking that Gavian. sort of thing whoever is all the oh, way yeah. in the I mean, back come on now. is in charge of looking Kissing around boys. keeping, an eye, keeping oh. an eye on things uh that sort of thing so take that with you in, into your consideration of what the model. uh i will probably uh, go at the back then yeah I will be right behind Davian, probably. Like I'll I would be want in the middle with Castle like, Brooks. Like I would want to be personally in the middle, but if it's like we get the feeling that's the person that that's going to need to like keep an eye out, I'll be there until. Uh, and I've been Brooks rolling and... like shit on my perception lately. <laughs> until so I until not be trusted. Until like I guess Castle Brooks are back who like maybe might want that role more, but whilst it's just us, so I'll I'll take it. Oh, I looked it up, by the way. Mm -hmm. Apex is my most streamed game. By Figured. quite a lot. Yeah, Overwatch More than for double me second place. very far in the lead. Mine's like, it's not even going to be close to whatever second. Dude, it's going to be purple, fire, red, and leaf green, and it's going to be maybe platinum. Dude, we had a, we had a <laughs> long Apex phase, man. The, the both of us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you and you'll probably be able to guess what's second, but it's Sea of Thieves. Yeah, oh, yeah that doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah, yeah. I miss I that might Sometimes I, I, I have those personally. phases where I'm like, I miss that game. Wait, where did you look it up at? So... Uh, no, it wasn't Sully Gnome. Uh, Twitch tracker. Oh, yeah, Sully Gnome, I only able it seemed to be able to get like a whole year yeah, as a year range. Like I couldn't intervals. go from now to yeah. Yeah. So, but Twitch tracker, like the second you go to your profile on Twitch tracker, it's like this is your entire history. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. So. 
And um, I've been playing at Apex again lately, so I might go back there. But anyway. So, you enter the woods. Is it Davian is leading the pack, yeah? Yes. Okay. Probably have a dice ready. As you uh, kind of like breach this outer shell, this outer layer of woods, you notice that the deeper you get, this part of forest looks extremely different. The woods that you saw from the outside and also the woods that you were in last time. Whereas last time you saw a bunch of normal looking trees, normal plant life, normal shrubbery. The area you now kind of push yourselves into, the trees are these tall, strangely shaped, strangely colored trees and these mushrooms growing five, six, seven feet tall. Um, this is less like a normal forest and Kess will mention that this reminds her a lot of the Feywild. Reminds her a lot of Have her. we left the material plane? No. Sorry, what was that? Have we left the material plane? You don't think so. But this part of the forest just seems very much like it, it, it like misplaced. Like it doesn't belong here. Yeah. It transcends normalcy. Yes. To me, it's a place where the veil between, or like the distance between the Feywild and the Material Plane is just like very thin or very small. So there's almost like yeah. some bleed through. We're not in the Feywild, but. We've been to these woods before, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't well, that's we? That's where we got the antler yeah. helmet that yeah. we made yeah, into yeah. our Nightweb thing. There was a deer spirit involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we lucked Deobolks, out and basically maybe. like found the direct path because of oh, yeah, good, we, good like... luck and dice roll. So we didn't end up exploring much of it. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, yes, okay. As you kind of reach your first clearing, um, Davian, you look around, and it's it's like I said, it's just this very strange contrast to like what this would these woods look like now than what they did last time, as well as nothing. But when you're on the outside, it, you couldn't. Th th there was no reason for you to believe that this was the type of woods you were going to be walking into until you did. Um, yeah. You also notice there's this strange kind of like mist. Kind of hovering over the ground and in the, in, and in the sky, uh, the mist is kind of this, this silvery color. Um, hmm. Anyone present with Arcana among the four of you? Uh, I am. You are. Make an Arcana check. You are. Uh, shut up, uh, Jax. Sorry, it shouldn't be that funny. Uh, 16. You recognize this, this type of mist. This is a type of mist known as uh, Phaezres. F-A-E-Z-R-E-S-S. -S. And you've not experienced this uh, type of mist before, but you have read about it. And essentially... Normally, this is a type of magical radiation only found in the Underdark. Huh. But it's here, and it's in this part Don't of the forest that looks very fey. Again, kind of cementing this weird trans-dimensional interplanar mishmash of, of planes that all kind of seem to collide here in these woods. Um, what you know about phase rest is that it, um, it's a remnant of high magic that According to legend, helped shape the Underdark itself. Like, it's very powerful. Um, one thing you do know about it is that casting any form of teleportation magic in areas with phase rest does not work. Oh, good to know. What you also know is that you need to be careful with using magic in general because you know that casting spells in areas that have that are covered in phase res, um, uh, come with side effects. Almost like it's wild magic. It comes with side effects. Okay. Um, I will relay that to the party. And so I should think we should be very careful casting unnecessary spells. Yeah. Hmm. Noted. <laughs> 
Just what we need. It's magical side effects. Hey, can we have a day where I'm not being fucked over by some sort of effect around You're too us. OP. You need to be nerfed all the time. That's really him with the haha. <laughs> no. <laughs> is a... Hey, those side effects might be plus 20 temporary HP whenever we gain temporary Or HP. plus you 7 AC. Know. You know? Maybe they're good. Maybe they're bad. Maybe they're both. We don't know. Your health you score drops good, to one forever. Bed, do, do, bed, the facts of you cast ninth level fireball. But on, on yourself. yourself. <laughs> With that said, in this first area, uh, you see a bunch of strange mushrooms, very weird-looking trees. And Davian, can you make me a uh, survival? Survival. Do 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 do. Bum 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 bum. That is a. 30, 20. You look around. I'm a lord. And um, obviously knowing that you are here to track a dragon, the first thing you look for and, and, and try to listen for is tracks. Do I smell a, a very... a scent of, of, in this case, poison, the green dragon. Uh, you kind of go through all the things that would give away that a dragon has trudged through these parts. Um... And you, you you look at the ground, you don't see tracks that would belong to a dragon, but you do see other tracks. And uh, these tracks uh, almost look like very small dragon prints. Um, you reckon with that roll that these are kobolds. Which you know, kobolds oh. are very much. Uh, they are draconic creatures, and they also very much are in service of dragons. So you reckon, even though these tracks aren't Brixoths, this these could very well be tracks of creatures that work for. Who has okay. the dragon mask? Dabin. Dabin, yeah. Okay. Came in clutch last mm -hmm. fight. He used the legendary resistance yeah. feature it has for the first time. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, I, I clipped I, it. I made a clip of it. Yeah. Yeah. Can watch. Good, good shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you you get a sense that like you that's that's the type of tracks you find. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll relay that to the uh the rest of the group. Uh, let's see. I'm a I'm a gamer. I know about kobolds, right? Oh dear. <laughs> I don't know. Do I? Uh, make a history check. Haven't we one, seen some? See if you, Haven't uh... we seen some before? Haven't we? Found make a what? Them? History check to see what you remember about kobolds. It sucks that it's a history check when it's my knowledge of a creature because, like, mm. uh, make it another survival check. Eight. Fuck it. Would uh, I use the same roll or should I roll again? Roll again. Survival check. Oh, you know, for you, mm. let's make it a nature check. How about? Yeah, because it's worse than my survival and feels like it applies better. All right. Oh, it's a natural 20. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no. um, I'm going to just pull up the, the kobold monster manual. <laughs> you know, um, kobolds uh, are you know, rept reptilian humanoids, uh, small creatures, typically between two and two and a half feet tall. Um, typically, this most common are like reddish brown and black and colored kobolds. Um, and these like like orangey eyes. Um, there are other types of kobolds out there, but those are the most common ones. Uh, their skin is a little scaled. Like they're very much these, these like like weird reptilian humanoids, tiny looking, uh, tiny reptilian humanoids. Um, now kobolds they... make up for their physical ineptitude with a cleverness for trap making and tunneling. So better be on the lookout for both traps and tunnels. Their lairs consist of low tunnels through which they move easily but which hinder larger humanoids. So we might be hindered by these tunnels along the way. They also riddle their lairs with traps, according to my brain. The most <laughs> insidious kobold traps make use of natural hazards and other creatures. So we better be on the lookout for both of the things that I just said. So, so we need to be lookout for traps and... Just cave? <laughs> like holes in the ground? Exactly. So, traps so also and like, holes. And, so... Like another type of trap, <laughs> almost. Well, no. 
Because like one's a hole for living and the other one's a hole for, for dying. Once they die in the hole that's for living, they get moved to the hole for dying. Well, no, as in... If we go into the hole for kobold living, that's not a trap. If we fall into the hole of people dying, then we that's the trap. Yes, there are... It's the very duplicitous race, the kobolds. Did you know that a few kobolds are born with leathery wings and can fly? Known as Erds. Nope. That's yeah, fantastic they like to lurk on knowledge, high no. edges and drop rocks on passers-by, so look out for high ledges with rocks for Are, I mean, are they much of a threat, or is it just going to be a nuisance? Uh, depends how big the rocks are. I meant the kobolds in general, but sure. Well, any anything's dangerous if there's enough of it. Definitely, uh, they're definitely Wise word. hack creatures. They, uh... yeah. Their superior numbers can win battles against powerful ad adversaries, but often with massive casualties on the kobold side. You're just reading off the fucking, like... Yeah, I am just, reading, off literally the reading off their page. I rolled a natural 20! Yeah, yeah, fair enough. That, that's fair, that's fair. It's just funny. That's this cool. this <laughs> man literally, the last book he read was actually just all about kobolds. Yeah, yeah, like, back. Just a <laughs> kobold like... book, yeah. It's the only it's book like... he's ever read. <laughs> so he, he owns multiple copies of that one kobold, like... Their first, second, just... third editions. <laughs> yeah. The kobold compendium. It's... Yeah, the co yeah. But yes, kobold. with that in mind, um... Davian. Uh... There seems to be a way forward if you kind of follow these tracks. Um, there are also other ways to... There are some trees that are slightly further apart from each other that open up into some kind of, like, tight squeezes. Uh, so it's up to you. The, you wanna follow, but basically, the question is, are you going to follow the tracks or are you going to go the other way? Um... Hear me out. If we fuck with this dragon, it like, okay, say we don't follow the tracks and we find a way to the dragon, then there's innumerable kobolds out there that we don't know about, right? Whereas if we follow the tracks, we might find the kobolds first, thin the herd a little bit, be less impeded by falling rocks when we fight the dragon. We might also find information about the dragon more. What if the tracks themselves are the trap, and they wanted us to see them and follow them, and then we fall into like a spiky pit or something? Well, then the kobolds are playing 4D chess and deserve the W, honestly. <laughs> Excuse me? What? <laughs> <laughs> he means 4D you dragon chess, alright? Yeah, I was like, what the? <clears throat> the W? There's an award or Yeah, up to you guys. I don't um, know. I don't I don't feel strongly either way. Cobalt tracks or not too cobalt tracks. That's I say we follow the tracks. My dice says we follow the tracks. You're the best purveyor for these types of things, Devin. I trust your judgment on this. Um before you progress uh Lazarin, since you are in charge oh, well. of the perception rolls could you do me a favor and roll me a perception check i can indeed that's a 25 25 Ooh. you guys uh follow davian and, and push through the woods and as soon as you leave the area that you were just in you can hear trees shifting and kind of like these these gusts of oh. wind and whispers as the woods behind you completely change and you can see the woods around you, the trees kind of shuffling, and, and it's almost like the entire forest is being shuffled around. It's the beginning of Hades too. The tracks that you're Wood following snake. suddenly disappear. It's in the woods. Uh, Lazarin, you do manage to, yep. right before uh, Davian reaches it, you manage to spot a tripwire. Ooh. Davian! Tripwire! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, no, yeah, and it's the, it, 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 it's the, it's the, just see right there. Oh, yeah. And as uh, Elijah points that out, Davin, you look down to the ground, and you can see that between these two trees ahead of you, there's this very thin trip, trip wire, and you kind of follow the wire, and you can see that ab above you, there is this 
these like these two wooden planks attached to a wire that have these like sharp g sharp blades kind of like underneath the plank that is just like if you were to trigger the trap these this would just fall on top of you they would just fucking stab you uh, nice it's, it's quite a crude but effective looking trap don't go wrong for execution i mean we, we could whatever. just step over it right i mean might as well unless there's a pit behind it do i see a pit behind it you do not see a pit behind it I don't see a pit behind it. That would be super smart. Like the double trap. You're like, oh, that's a trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I played too much Elden Ring and Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, fair. That's uh, about a hell so that the fucking triple trap now, because uh, we're expecting the double trap. It's a quadruple the trap. Trap you see. Tripwire with the, the brood. Thanks. Like, we could disarm it, but if we can just go past it, right? Yeah. I don't want them to. They might have a way of knowing it's been tripped as well and might come investigate. I don't know. Well, we have to, and I guess there's no reason to think we'll have to backtrack the way we came since these woods are constantly changing. So there's no reason to disable it in case we need to, like. Run back, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, even if we do run back through here and we're being chased, we can maybe use it to our advantage. Yes. Just jump back over and set it off. Find us. And yeah, I guess we just carefully avoid it, but leave it intact. You have yes. to step into the next pitfall. And all of you, knowing that the tripwire is there, it's very easy for you guys to just step over it without accidentally uh, triggering it. So you keep going. And then... You <clears throat> kind of push out from this tighter squeeze of, of, of trees into a section of the woods that kind of has a little bit of a clearing. Um, the, the woods around you still very much have this, like, Feywild look to them. These these weird shaped trees and different colors and these, these tall mushrooms kind of growing everywhere as well. You can see that thick brushes of mushrooms and trees kind of seemingly blocking off any areas beyond. Uh, you can't really see. Um, what you see here is these mushrooms kind of give off this colorful glow that kind of lights up this area a little bit. Uh, combining with the sunlight, it kind of gives this area a, a bluish hue. And you can see in the clearing, a pile of bloody corpses laying on the ground. Oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. Are they from where, as far away as we are, are they human corpses? Animal corpses? Mixture? Uh, from where you are, kind of like, at, you're still kind of like at the edge of this area. I haven't haven't fully like gone in yet uh okay uh humanoid is your best guess like definitely humanoid looking yeah hmm oh. can i just do a little got like look over the area see if there's like anything that like do these look like piled up like almost as like a ritual or like just like a dumping space like wild like can i just see like is, is any reason why these corpses are like where they are like specifically um, like are they are they in like a big pile or is it just like just like strewn around make a perception check okay. uh 23 23 um you go to look kind of like scan the area and as your head kind of stops and looks at the corpses themselves you suddenly see the corpses all moving sitting starting to sit upright and just looking at you just all looking at you not doing anything uh, just they just they just sat upright and are all looking at you right i hate that wait what's mm. looking at us the corpses, the corpses. oh no 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 Daddy I... don't like I like like that. Uh, <laughs> I'll wave at them. What? See, if oh, okay. see if anything happens. The corpses just kind of tilt their heads and then go back to normal, but they're still just looking at you. They're looking at me specifically, or like the group? Uh, the group, but oh they started. They started looking at at the group as soon as you. Walked Started looking oh, yeah. at them essentially. They're just kind of returning. Right. Oh, I don't right. Like it. There appear to be uh, any traps 
in between the bodies or anything like that, or? Uh, make a perception check. Uh, 15. Not as far as you can tell. Should we just go to round them? I mean, I, I guess, like, I don't think there's really any point disturbing them further if they're just going to leave us alone. Davian, where should we uh -huh. go? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Is why? Is there any more to be gleaned? Uh, you would have to like kind of step into the clearing a little more, but right now you're all kind of still teetering on the edge of the woods where you came We're, like, from. We're skirting the edges right now. Uh, and you, all you see from where you are now is just these these, these corpses just all sitting up right looking at you. How far is the closest Cor one? Humanoid corpses? Yes. Yeah. I mean, this uh, uh, so-called this clearing is about like like 40 feet away from where you are. Uh-huh. And they're, they're all just kind of like strewn about in this clearing. So they're like area, laying yeah. on their back. They, like well now they're sitting up straight, uh, like they, but they, they sat were, up. They were laying on their backs or on the, or on their or on their stomachs, and they just kind of all moved and sat up straight, and are all just like, like this is like like so, like maybe ten or so corpses that are all just looking at you. Don't like it. Yeah, that's okay. Do we? Is there anything else in the clearing besides these bodies? From where you are right now, like if you are still kind of just like back against the woods that you just mm. breached, you're not sure. Mm. You would have to it stinks. have a look. Like a better. I look. think I. I mean, I so don't really have much choice. I need to go forward, right? I uh, say that as I'm like taking out my holy symbol, <laughs> like just yeah. untucking it and just or like. We could just skirt around to the right or the left potentially. I... I mean, Elijah, if you want to go forward, I'm right behind you. Sure, I'll tentatively. I know I'm supposed just... to be at the front, but like you're the one with the, you know. Yeah, I'll I'll tentatively start walking forwards. Okay. Towards the group of undead. These corpses see. just they they follow you, and in the, like their their head kind of follows you, looking yeah. at you. Other than that, they're not doing anything. They're just sitting there. I mean, they're, they're kind Can of minding I... their own business. I'll just... I'll, I'll they're definitely speak not up. minding their own business. They're staring I'll, at us the whole I'll, time. But... I'll speak out to them. Go, hello there. Nothing. Don't. Just leave them. Oh. Just leave them and keep going. Yeah. Have, have a nice day. I'm just going to continue walking. Oh. I'm just going <laughs> to... Just going to... No, I'm actually... Uh, hmm. No, too paranoid to like not look at them now. <laughs> I'll still be like just looking at them, <laughs> like as I'm walking. I am like side eyeing the fuck out of them all. <laughs> like, huh? Don't move, kill it. No, just don't. I mean they're all moving like, their heads. They're kind of following you. So you're the one no, stepped just... into their respective area yeah. first. But again, they're not moving other than the head kind of like following you. And it gets to a point where like you move past them to the point where you can hear the necks kind of like. <laughs> Oh, as if, oh what if it's it, it, it like fully 180 to keep yep. looking at you just staring at me yeah cool cool cool, cool um cool cool, cool 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 what's your passive perception like a billion mm -hmm. as 20. you as you do this swear for a second you hear this you hear giggling no like no. okay so we we have we have had a uh, encounter with like fake trickstery types, like little fairy oh, we like have. fake tricksters. Plus, Kess exists. Plus, plus Kess exists. Does this sound more like fake trickster giggle, or does it sound like creepy little girl giggle? <laughs> creepy little when the, girl. When the fake tricksters creepy little girls. Oh, so, they yeah. fucking so, yeah. what? Yeah, this sounds okay. like like a very high pitched kind of like like mischievous. Okay, giggle. 
Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> um, yeah, kind of really hate that, like, a lot. Like, shiver down the spine, like... <laughs> This feels so much worse than any dragon fight ever could. <laughs> <laughs> like, at least that's like a mortal. You know what I mean? Like, that's like you know exactly mortal... what you're getting into. Yeah, you know? yeah. You know it's a dragon. This is like, I could be cursing myself forever here, <laughs> and I'll just, I'll just mind my own business. Do you say it's like completely blocked off the other side of like? Um. Fauna? Well, from a distance, like oh. looking at it. Yes, oh, right. but you know, everything in this, in this, in this forest seems very yeah. much blocked off until you kind of really have a. Oh, um, oh god i want to walk in the middle so bad i know it's a horrible idea but I want to... oh god i just want to know i'm not doing pussy uh, what's Fuck the rest you. of the group doing like is, is, is lazarin here like kind of on his own venturing off like i'm doing? sitting right behind lazarin the whole time just... uh, yeah we would okay single we're file just, we're just single file and just like i wouldn't say we're not like i i, um, I would have been like skirting the edge but i'm definitely like more towards the edge than the middle if that makes sense like i'm sort of in the middle just sort of like not making it look that I'm obviously very much like, fuck this. I'm gonna seem like I've been a little like hospitable, just a little bit, not by much. Don't like that he's running it. I just hate that. Uh, Davian, what's your passive perception? Not great. Uh... Oh, 17. 17? That's pretty good. You suddenly yeah, it's feel pretty good. a tug good. on one of your like pockets in your, in your, in your pants. No. And as you look down, you can see this very tiny spriggan, this tree-like creature Aww. dangling from your pants, still That's just... kind of cute! <laughs> no, like but what do I know about spriggans? I bet your, they're bad. Uh, reaching into the pocket, trying to like, trying to nick something from you, essentially. Um, what do you know about spriggans? Well, obviously I'm not gonna let that happen. What do you know about spriggans? Yeah. Uh, make a nature check. Yeah, which Final Fantasy Imagine spriggans Imagine I that 20 again. Did you really? It's like, uh, no, no, I, I said imagine. imagine. Um, nine. Uh, all you know about spriggans is that um, spriggans are are ancient creatures. They are very old. Like they, their history goes back. Okay. And all you really know about them is that they are these these very trickstery like, like like pranksters essentially. Like all they live for is to just prank and play tricks and 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 and, and steal what were the things that we met because when we were here to get the helm of aros didn't like kes have a whole thing like me and kes literally tried to be like oh we're gonna talk our way through by giving like prank advice to some sort yeah, of yeah we met these two and we, we gave them like itching powder or something yeah that was yeah that, that was those weren't spriggans i think that was just a, like a, a young dryad child if I remember. okay yeah. okay yeah because was, that, that was kids, for sure that's when i realized that you put itching powder in my yeah that in. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, these these spriggans this is the first time you see spriggans but yeah, yeah like i said Davy, you can see one of these like tiny like and when i say tiny i mean like this thing is maybe like 15 centimeters tall total jesus and it's christ just, it's just dangling from your from like the the edge of your can i just like pockets just, like like <laughs> swat it off yeah i mean you swat it off and just kind of ow um anyone of you Get your fucking hands to yourself anyone of you speak uh l -l 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 not sylvan fucking elf sylvan i do Lazarus, yeah doesn't he? you do okay no, so I don't. yeah in sylvan davian you hear this guy just say come on you look like you have enough I'll just reply in Sylvan. It still, it still belongs to me. He kind of looks at you and kind of like mouth kind of open, like very. All I can think of right now is just like like baby Groot's, just like kind of like like mouth open, eyes go wide. And you hear this guy, okay. th this, this this little guy, just kind of, guys, guys, this one speaks our language. And coming <laughs> from underneath all kinds of rocks and behind trees. Like, uh, ten more of these spriggans appear, and they all kind of just, like, gather around, looking at you. And then they look back at the corpses. Why didn't that scare you? It did. Oh, it did? Oh. Yeah. Guys, it worked! And they, like, they all kind of, like, snap their fingers, and the illusion that was this pile of corpses uh -oh. disappears. Oh, thank Son God. Of the... Normally... <laughs> The people that traverse these paths get scared more, and it's funny. And then we use that as a distraction to rob them. You guys, 
You guys caught us. It's annoying. Well, we're trying to sort of focus on the task at hand. Of... What is the task at hand? A few dead like, bodies. This is all in Sylvan, by the way. So, like, I guess yeah. Yeah. I like, I like, yeah, so we're just like staring at Navian. <laughs> I like what I feel like at this probably like in between this conversation, one of us will go out like Devin and be like, what are they saying? And then all it's like, what the fuck is going on? I, I mean, like, I'm, I'm checking right now, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, never mind. I was going to put good money that Kess <laughs> spoke Sylvan, but she does not. No. Do you usually comprehend language? Is it really everything? just me? That's great. So, yeah. Yeah. Literally, literally, we go from being like, oh, there's zombie like, or undead things here to nothing. And who the fuck are these little tree guys? <laughs> I mean, like, and right now, and like, all, like, all going, of you guys oh, can just kind of okay. see that there's like 10 or so of these like tiny little tree creatures that are all kind of like sitting down. And there's one of them that kind of stands in front of his group and that he's just talking to Davian and Davian is replying they in fucking, language that they you don't understand. Well, I speak Elvish, so it's like he's speaking Latin. So I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I recognize the origin of that you word. Know, you, know, <laughs> you know what the language is they are speaking. You just don't know what, what they're saying, like, essentially. Yeah. Man, I, sh I should pay more attention to Sylvan classes. <laughs> so what is, what is your mission? Why are you here? Why are you in our territory? Well, there's a big fucking dragon somewhere around here that we're trying to kill. Yeah, there is several, really. Which one are you talking about? Oh, oh I the hate big green that. one again. Which one? Ah! They're lying, and you liars. can see what make liars. an inside check. Make an inside check. <laughs> liars, liars. Okay, 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 okay. Inside. 13. Oh, that's not good enough. You can see, like, this kind of, like, this Spriggan is trying to hide this, like, shit-eating grin. Like, he's full of shit. <laughs> he's full of shit. There's not right. multiple. Thanks, he's man. lying. You and I both know there's only one big green dragon around here. Yeah, you're boring. Yes. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, I can only presume it, it would be in your best interest if it fucked off as well. So, you not might really. want to... Oh, it doesn't really that? bother us very much. We we live very far away from it. So we know that he is here, but it doesn't really bother us. And dragons, I don't know, they like to eat meaty things like you guys. It doesn't really b bother with us. We're just wood and beef. Well, okay. L uh, let me let me put it this way. If the big green dragon isn't fucked off uh, within a reasonably short period of time, you'll have nothing left to play pranks on. That sucks. Yeah. Hmm. Because the big green dragon wants to get rid of basically everything except the big green dragon. I I know he only eats meaty things, but, yeah, but how, will it, how will it continue over. to live if it's getting rid of everything and then it won't be able to eat? Well... There's some holes in this plan. <laughs> when the meaty things run out... Hmm? What do you think will be left for the big green dragon to eat? Ish. They count as meaty things. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No. Yeah. No, fish is not meat. Okay, well then after the fish have gone. Birds? <laughs> and when then all the birds have gone, all that's left will be little spriggans like you. And you know what? I love a good prank. You you love a good prank. You know who doesn't? You know who hates pranks? Ooh. And I know this, because I have a... a... encyclopedic knowledge of these such beings. But kobolds hate pranks. I know. We've and you pranked know who them a lot. There's a lot of kobolds in these woods, and we prank them a lot. They're stupid. And they they serve the big green dragon. One of them started hucking rocks at us at a time, but then again, we did kind of... Yeah, we did kind of do... Well, I shouldn't say what we did. You know, I read once that apparently, due to the history of their, their god, with we the did. gnome oh, god... Sorry, I couldn't keep it in. The, <laughs> the gnome god pulled a prank <laughs> on the kobold dragon god, and now kobolds hate pranks forever. And so... Oh. If the green dragon that establishes why they dominion, rocks at us. the kobolds <laughs> will probably want the green dragon to get rid of all the pranks. That sounds awful. So it's really in your best interest to, if anything, help us out. What are we supposed to do? 
Go play some pranks on the kobolds as many as and as much as you possibly can to keep them busy so we can get rid of the big green dragon without them interfering. I don't really need to pee right now. Shit in their food then. Turn their food into spicy, hot, fiery chilies. They're like Kill basically them dragons. All. I don't think that bothers them too much. I can poop in there. Do poison dragons not mind spice? I don't know, but... I don't know. Mm. We'll figure it Is out. Is that Stavian's next new book? But what's in it for us? Well, we will get rid of the big green dragon. Mm -hmm. And you won't have to worry about the kobolds getting rid of pranks anymore. Hmm. Strike a hard bargain. <laughs> Deal. Can I trust that? Yes. Oops. How about this? How much do you know about dragons? Big. <laughs> you know yes. that dragons... Dragons have lots of gold. Shiny? Lots oh, no. of gold oh, no. and no. jewels and gems <laughs> and magical so trinkets <laughs> and knickknacks. Paddywags. And if you help us, you can have some of it. What sticks? They have sticks. Pointy sticks? Some of them, probably. <sighs> okay. Okay. We can have some? Absolutely. Might have to get the rest of the boys. Is this not all the boys? <laughs> no, there's like hundreds of us spread around these woods. No, all by name. <laughs> oh no, don't ask. Don't ask. Please, ask, please ask, no. ask him, ask him, ask him. <laughs> no. Go out and gather your banner men. Okay. <laughs> and march on the kobolds. <laughs> You're all very magical, talented individuals. They're stupid. They, they don't stand a dumb. chance. Actually They're so dumb. dumb they and they hate pranks. Yeah. We love pranks. Case in point. We love pranks. But. Um, I would, I would, I would take some time to kind of, you know, get everyone together. Like, how, how soon does it need to happen? When are you going to fight the dragon? Hmm. I'll turn around and speak in common for the first time in this <laughs> yeah. whole conversation. Guys, how long until we fight the dragon? How long until we get there? Know. Whenever we get there? Anywhere from the next five minutes to the next five 24 years? hours. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hope in the next 24 hours. <laughs> well, yeah, ideally. It could be longer, right? It, it might be, but hopefully not. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't understand it either. And they kind of like. I'll, I'll, I'll talk, <laughs> I'm gonna wave at them while they're the... while they're mumbling that. I'll just wave at the spriggans. Like one, there's this one like lone spriggan in, in the group that just kind of looks at you, Daigon, just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh no, I never mind. I wouldn't do that because I don't know what they're talking about, so it wouldn't make sense. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I, I will turn back around to the spriggans and say, "How much time do you think you'll need?" You don't know where the dragon is, do you? Oh, he's very big and hard to miss. <laughs> oh, that... what? It's very big. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, he's hard to miss, so... That doesn't make we're, sense. We're bound to find him. Oh, these... Have you been here before? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, really? Yeah. And you... left and came back? I will wait. Does the um the nightweb detector show any like physical oh. evidence that it used to be the helm that it, that it was like yeah yeah the, the the jewels embedded in them. Okay, I will. I'll show him the nightweb detector and be like, "This was was crafted from a helmet oh. from these very woods." You've met those, the fur bags. They hate pranks, too. Yeah, they didn't seem like too, too cheery a lot. Oh, they just sound depressed all the time. 
we got bored of pranking them because the response was always the same. They just kind of shrugged their shoulders and moved on. So we we got bored of that real quick. Um. Okay. Well. So. To. Speak straight up with me. Do you know where the dragon is or not? In these woods. Sure. <laughs> Looks aggressive. <laughs> I know this guy's an idiot. I'll, I'll handle this. <clears throat> do like these do you know where the do. dragon is within these woods? Question mark. Exclamation <laughs> point. Exclamation <laughs> mark. <laughs> no. Hmm. I do. Technically, no. Do you want to maybe help us find the dragon? Hmm. No, because I have to go gather the boys. Can't do that. Right, at the same but time. you could boys. just tell us, and then while we go to the dragon, hmm. you gather the boys. I could tell you, but I could also not, unless. Yes, that's true. What is it worth to you? I, I would like you. five okay. sharp sticks. Tell you where the dragon is. <laughs> and he looks like when he says five sharp sticks, he looks at your quiver. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I will... I will take five arrows out of my quiver. Actually, I really hate to part with these because... They are very valuable. Mm, we know. It's but... a good one. Before he gives it to them, I just want to lean over to a Lazarus and Shaxx and whisper, and I go, uh, like, what? Bet you a gold. One of them, like, stabs his foot with it or something. Or one of them's going to poke him with one of the arrows at some point. What's the bane that Devin just drops it on their fucking faces? <laughs> but if the whereabouts of the dragon... Is, if this is the cost to know the whereabouts of the dragon, then I can part with five sharp sticks. Okay. And I will hand, I will hold them out to him. Yeah. So he basically like he snaps his fingers and like the other like ten or so spriggans kind of like surround uh, surround you and can kind of like they they need like two sometimes three spriggans per arrow to kind of like properly carry around until like, like pretty fucking much... Pikmin. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And uh, this this one spriggan looks at you. Okay, so, I don't know exactly where the dragon is, but I know mm. who does know, all right? <laughs> mm. There is a small village somewhere in the woods. That village has your kind, the, you know, people living in it. Right, yeah. Um, as far as, you know, directions in these woods don't really work, right? As you, you're probably aware since you've been here before. But, yeah. um, eventually, you'll stumble upon a village that is made off of these, 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 they used to be a camp with just fabrics, but they have since upgraded, and they're, you know, these, these, there's huts, about five, six or seven oh. of them. And okay. this village, Moving on up. Uh, there is a woman that lives there, um, she is the leader of these people. Uh, we've met a couple of times. She, uh, you know, she's a bit of a prankster too. So you know, we get along. It's, it's she's pretty cool. Um, she's known as Shasa. Um, she'll know where the dragon is. She looks like Shasa. Shasa, yes. Um, I don't know how to spell it, but Shasa, it's, that's the name. Um, she knows where the dragon the dragon is. Um, I think. Between you and me, I think she might be related or something. It's weird. She's she's human. Void. I don't know. Said something along those lines. But her face, right. left half of her face, looks like you got you guys, right? It's just normal. Um, the other half, normal. Green scales and. Oh white. Oh, mm, but so, that she's not. You know, on the same team as the dragon, though, is she? No, she fucking hates him. Oh, I thought you were going to say she's fucking him. Yeah. Well, maybe that's why she hates him. Because they used to. It didn't end you know? well. <laughs> well, if it ended, you know, yeah, like I, don't know. That. I don't know what the story is there. I never really had 
false to ask. Um, but it's funny. Uh, Shasa, she knows about him, hates his guts, knows where he lives. So as soon as you find a village and you find a person that look with the face of half of a normal humanoid and half dragon, that's Shasa, that's your gal. She'll be able to help you. But you can't really direct us to this village because of how this place works. Yeah, it's hard. These these woods, mm. like you, you could push through that brush of trees over there, and suddenly you're there. You could also rush through. The... You'll get there eventually if you don't die on the way. Okay, we'll look for Shasa. Yes. And you will gather the boys. I will gather the boys, and we'll find. Whatever kobolds we can find, and we're gonna shit in their food. <laughs> right. Great. All right, boys. And what's your name? Buva, huh? What's your name? Rig. R Rig? Rig, yes. Rig, when this is all over, I'll make sure that all across the lands, across all of the plains, they know the name of Rig the Brave Spriggan. And the greatest trickster that the realm has ever seen. Without a doubt. Okay. Without a doubt. It's a good see thing Cass doesn't see, see you on the other side. side. See you on the other side. And this like, group around. of Spriggans just marches through the woods and like, you know, some of them kind of walking around and, and as they have to push through some of the, the, the tree lines, you can see some of them kind of like dunk with the arrows, like in, in one arrow goes into like the back of a Spriggan in front of them. The other one kind of like does this, they walk around with the arrow, like, like the dog thing, when they're carrying like a big stick in their mouth and they have to move between something. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but eventually they, they all leave your uh, your sight, your vision, and they've moved on. I, I will turn around to the gang and say, I have no idea what will come of that entire interaction. If <laughs> A Spriggan is true to its word, which I highly doubt. Um, it will go and gather the hundreds of Spriggans in these woods, and they'll go fuck over the kobolds. Well, that okay. sounds helpful. Uh, yeah, I think I just instigated a turf war. I was going to say, did you, did you arm them? Did you just supply weapons to one gang? One they don't have a bow well, to shoot them with. They're magical. Anyway, they're I don't think they need... also got, like, big stick. It just becomes a spear at that point, right? <laughs> Yeah. I, I look, Like a battering ram for them? I don't <laughs> fucking know. I, I don't know. All I know is they're going to leave us alone and there's a chance that they'll fuck with the kobolds. I know it's not a guarantee, but if it does happen, it'd be nice, right? Did, did they know whether... Did you learn anything else? I mean... Oh, yeah, we're looking for a woman called Shasa at a village of uh, apparently humans. She has a green lizard... Uh, sorry, green scaly dragon face. Uh, but apparently she really hates the dragon, so. Right. Okay. okay. That's a good... Any of they tell you how to fucking get there? No. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. But we know uh, what we're looking for to find what yes. we're looking for. Yes, that's very true. Maybe if we just, like, all believe really hard enough that just the next place we'll go through, it'll be there. Yeah, maybe that's how these woods work. Yeah. Because if that's how that worked, we could have just gone like you know, dragon lair, right? And but you know, that's how that. Right, but we don't want to go there yet because that's because Rig won't have had time to gather oh, the boys true. to rally the troops. I do believe in fairies? I do believe. I do. Really do. <laughs> anyway, um, so let's all close our eyes. And all believe really hard, and then hold hands, and we walk through the next tree line, thinking, "Dasa." Yep. yep. Okay. Sure, it's better than nothing. All right. Onwards. Um. Can I have a, a, a? So are you just blindly pushing through, or are you doing some tracking to see if there's any like indicator uh, of, of where you're supposed well, to? Well, we'll do that thing that I just said first, see if okay. it works. And when it doesn't, yeah. Concentrate sure. Really so hard. you all kind of like push it really brush hard. through some some more tree line. Yeah. Pushing really hard. And you get to a different area. You see a lovely park table and a set of benches set with a fine and intricately carved set of jeweled game pieces. 
for a strange 13 by 13 square type of chessboard with 46 oh, no. pieces each. You can see a lifelike statue of a of someone playing the game sitting on one of the benches. Uh, and the board seems to be in this like early mid-game state. Uh, and the seat opposite the statue is empty. Other than oh, that, you see no. more trees, more mushrooms. I push Elazarin towards the chair. Why me? <laughs> you're, uh, listen, you're wise and seasoned. Well, I would just think you'll probably have the best chance. You uh, or Jax, but... Yeah. Does it look uh, like dragon I chess? Pers I personally think oh. Jax would be uh, better at yeah, it. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like dragon chess. Uh, yeah. Uh, I will sort of just sort of look at Jax, like, what's your experience in this? I'm okay, but not for no fantastic. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I can get by. I'm I mean, we get something. I mean, no matter what, we can all like help out, right? Like, this is going to. Yeah. Trying to look at what counts as an artisan tool. Does, you... uh, does dragon chess count dragon as chess. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of hoping. Well, so, we like. We'll just be like in the same list as like. A deck of cards, blah, 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 like those processes. Yeah. I just, I, I was trying to figure out if I could make my little tool thing become like dragon chess because then it would give you proficiency with it. No, that games are not. But complete. yeah, it's, it's a gaming it's just, set. It's artisan's tools. Yeah, it's a gaming set, so I'm oh. just gonna... Out of fact. Okay. Well. Um, I, I don't know who would be best for this. Certainly not, not me. I'm probably not Cass. I'm probably not me. Brooks. Brooks seems like the type to be really good at like this type of game. I guess card games are things that not. Yeah, isn't yeah, he a card? Hands. Card shark. He's only game. good at card cards shark. when he can cheat. So, <laughs> really, how do you cheat against a statue? If you, you want blow to, it up. you and you and Jax can just flip a coin and see who does it. We both sit down. How at the big same is time. the chair? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I sit on Jax's lap. How big is the chair? <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just this, like a park, like almost like a picnic table. A park bench. Like, think picnic table, but it's two park yeah. benches kind of just like attached to it. And there's this chess so board in the middle of the table. On one side, seemingly this game has already started, and the statue was just kind of like, look, like kind of you know like this, looking at the board. Yeah. Uh, st statue, and then there, the, the opposite yeah. bench is empty. Like where the second chair would be is empty, but it's just a normal like bench. Good try sitting at the same time. Who's going to yeah, be directly opposite? Who's going to be directly opposite him? We, we we could uh, let's try that. Okay, I'll I'll sit directly opposite him, and I kind of want to but I'll do it. <laughs> and oh, we'll sit yeah. at the same time and just like okay. yep, bonk. We both sit down. Yeah. Then yeah. yeah. And I'll just I mean I'll look to see the state of the game. Yeah, like I said, early mid game. There's a couple of pieces yeah. on on both ends, like mostly just like pawns that have been swapped, like traded. Um, you reckon that this game may have been like what, six turns in, or so, six seven turns in. Do I? I I'll stairs that look like the statue. Zero. I'll I'll so like. I'll t touch the statue. Touch the statue. Yeah. Nothing happens. If I look at the board, does it look like there's a move I should play that's best? Um. You're not proficient in this game, right? I'm not. No. Uh, luckily for you, it's a thinking sport after all, so make an intelligence check. <laughs> and I give him advantage if I also look. <laughs> so you're cheating? Uh, yeah, sure. You can both yeah. kind of like strategize. I got worried for a second. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see anything about there being no coaches allowed. Show me the rule book! <laughs> <laughs> no, the uh, rule book is uh, so cool. The advantage was in that one, so. Um, fuck you, uh, 21. 21? Uh, you see a, a pretty logical move that you could do uh, with the board in this state. Uh... Yeah, sure, knight to d3. So you're doing <laughs> it? You're moving the, the, the piece? As you do yep. so, and you end your turn, you all look and see Jax turn into a statue. And oh, the statue fuck. on the opposite <laughs> side suddenly... <laughs> And there's this 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 humanoid. Man there must always be one kind of statue si at the table, there, like, probably. 
Don't take a break. Then. Oh no. Don't want to break. Oh, oh my god. As Jack oh. is now fully <laughs> petrified. Move a piece so we fully get petrified, Jack's locked into this chest. Oh game, shit. And his opponent has been unpetrified because Jack's oh, decided shit. to move a piece. Uh, we'll take a break here. We'll be right back, gamers. <laughs> oh god.
Don't say any incriminating no, tax no, info no. when Dutch deafens. <laughs> tax avoidance, baby. <laughs> so, because, because, okay, sorry, real quick. So, because technically paying into a pension is tax avoidance, right? You pay less tax, you pay into a pension. So, like. Sure, but that's the same thing here. We have like 401ks and Roth IRAs yeah. and shit, too. So, yeah. Fun adult talk, everybody. Yeah, anyway. boys. So, gamers, as you look upon this chessboard, you see as soon as Jax moved a piece. Yeah, fuck. He got turned into a statue, petrified, and the opposing player suddenly turns to his normal self and just... <gasps> what? Where am I? What? Well, don't just sit there. It's your move. Are you crazy? I'm not doing that again. I've been stuck here for what feels like ages. Oh, I'm not... Oh, What's the no, last you year you remember? I stumbled into no, these we just We just got here. It's you against these two. It's your move. Wait, 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 wait. You're playing wait, on a timer. Wait, 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 wait. Last thing I remember. It's me and a friend. Wandering the woods. Found a chessboard. So, hey, why not start playing? And then we noticed that this board was already kind of in the process of a game. So we just figured, oh, we'll just continue where the previous players left off. Why not? We're bored. I move. Get it, bored. I move. And then suddenly you guys are here and my friend is gone. There was no other, no one else, no statues already seated at this table. There was no one seated at it when you first showed up. No, no. It's your move. He played night to I'm not before. doing that again. Last time I moved a piece, I turned into a statue. I'm not really... In, I'm sorry that this is your friend, but I'm not... You cannot make me move again. I'm not doing it. Can I? Now, this seems like... Can you use your free Greater Restoration? Does that fix petrification? It like does. Like the spell scroll that you got? Yes. But it yes, might it also not work. Well, but... we can try. I want to try something else first, which mm. might be worse to do. Well, the other, uh, another idea is... I was going to just throw something at the board. an absolute last, last resort. Because it would mean sacrificing this uh, body that Jax worked really hard to make. We could always, <laughs> like, I sit down and maybe, like, I leave the body, but just, like, my arms will and just, like, move a piece and then, zo like, zoink my ghost arm out. And you then, absorb like, the chessboard, and then can petrify people. Oh, I consume the enchantment of the chessboard. Yo, that's actually a sick idea. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I'm, oh, I'm you so become to try. Oh, you then, become petrified forever. Also, or it's like, or doing so, board. Jax can no longer be fixed yeah, or something. Jax like, like, <laughs> like so this guy, this guy, seemingly um, like you look at him oh. and. Does his clothing look like hella out of date? Like, does he look like he's from like a history book? It looks a little dated. Yeah. Okay. Fashion is something that you don't really see often that's, anymore. That's and he just kind of looks around there... and and you, he kind of calms down a bit. You just hear him say, "That motherfucker. He left me." Here. Oh, your friend? Yeah, he banded you. There's no one here. He saw me turn to stone, and instead of trying to fix me, he just left. I'm, I'm sorry, friends. I, I'm, I'm grateful that I'm no longer, well, like that. But I'm, I'm not moving that chess piece. I'm sorry. I draw my sword. I was gonna say, who's, who's gonna be the asshole who's like threatens him to stay here? Um, Dutch. Can I Hello. make a? Is there also that mist that we talked about in this area? I'm assuming there is, but yeah, yes. Okay. okay. I'm gonna remind I'm, the party that exists. Yeah, you know, I have a, I have I have a crazy idea as he, well. Do you draw your sword, uh uh Dagen, he's kinda Listen. I'm gonna be very honest with you. If the choice is either death or being a statue for all eternity, I'd go with death. 
really, when you think about it, it's I'm, the same result either way, but one's much less painful. Because both is just, I'm going you know, to be honest. oblivion, but oblivion with no pain, or oblivion with have a you, Sorry, have you been a statue before? No, but I've been dead. Oh, well. And I'll show it. I'll poke my ghost head out of the thing, of my body. Well, I'm sorry for your loss, <laughs> but I'd much rather take my chances with dying instead of sitting here for, oh, we know, might be... It might be hundreds of years before the next poor soul trods around and accidentally frees me. Sorry, I'd rather die. Well, it might be hundreds of years since but the last some one. poor soul will come by and free you. Or someone will come up with a cure. No one's going to gonna free thing. you from whichever circle of hell you end up in. I don't think I'll be going to hell. When I slit hell. your fucking throat. I... You see this sword? Now, it is a magical sword. It looks kind of cool, but it's a cold sword. But we won't get into that. Anyway. You see this sword? This sword is actually cursed. I pulled it from the dragon's hoard, of the dragon that we killed, whose face I'm wearing as we speak. And, we're and it will send dragon. your soul to the deepest depths of the circles of hell, and you will endure torture for a very, very long time to come. But if you just move a piece on that chessboard and turn to stone, then it won't be too long in your mind's eye before someone comes along and their curiosity just gets the better of them and they move a piece and you're freed again and you'll know next now, time what to expect and you can leg it before they have a chance to do this make an intimidation i'm not really good at oh i have advantage because of the fucking dragon helmet dragon mask yeah, <laughs> yeah. surprise surprise they're both shit, oh. so... 12. Oh. He looks at you, and you can see kind of like... Kind of his eyes, you know, like tears welling up in them. And he just looks at you. You're evil. You're a monster. And he reaches to the chessboard and moves a piece and turns into oh a statue. Oh my god, that worked! And you can see this like singular like stone teardrop Tear kind of like fall to the oh ground no. are the bad guys? as Jax I, you all right, listen. I like I turned <laughs> Devin like what just happened that was fucked <laughs> okay listen when we've killed this fucking dragon we'll come back and we'll find a way to fix this but you could, you could try really, to use we your can't... spell scroll on him right now and then they're no, both free now, now, now that Jax is in danger I'm gonna take out a dagger and I'm just gonna fucking throw it at the chessboard oh, and, like, just and, 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 and just disrupt the game Oh, this might be a terrible idea. Oh no. No, what if you What if you kill this what if, guy? Hold on. What if you literally like what if he becomes unsavable? Yeah, something what? As you, I think it's a terrible plan. <laughs> as you throw your dagger and knock over several pieces, yeah. You see this like bright light kind of gathering yeah. in the chessboard and it just <laughs> and the Ooh. statue of the opposing player crumbles. Oh fuck! Oh, Alasrin! We told you not to See, we could have helped that guy. You just killed an innocent, trapped man. Okay. Question. <laughs> Question. That's going in, mm -hmm. that's going in the uh, depression hole. <laughs> Alright, listen. I might have because he's a statue, he doesn't himself. count as a creature, correct? Uh, well, he's no longer a statue. Now I know, but pieces. like pieces of one it's would not like, count it, as pieces of a creature. No, but it is completely like he turned like the statue... I know, I disintegrated, just... Disintegrated, essentially. Just what happened to the chessboard? Completely disintegrated as well. Just <laughs> millions cool. of just tiny little dust particles. Just, what just happened? Okay. You moved a piece and turned into stone, <laughs> which then unstoned the statue, who, who turned out who to be a very a scared... A very scared innocent man who really didn't want to move a chess piece on the board. So I threatened to damn his soul to hell for eternity if he didn't. So then he did move a piece on the board and turned back into stone. At which point, Eladrin fucked to the chessboard and had his body exploded into a million pieces. For the record... So he is dead. I He's not in hell though, maybe. I was I was never going to be on team like I was going to be the one to outright threaten him. But definitely in the back of my head was like, if we could make him move a piece back. And I was like, if someone's going to do it, I'm not going to stop him. But I wasn't going to do it. But then Davy did it. So I didn't have to really I was gonna lie, it was kind of question fucked. it that much. I uh, didn't really think that was going to happen. Uh, you don't I mean, have the fucking room to tell me it was fucked after strong, you just yes. killed him. Right. Yeah, but I didn't know that I was going to I fully intended happen. to negotiate with you all of you that when we come back, we will free him or find a way yeah. to free him. You, Elasrin, you could have had a way to fix him. You literally have magic that fixes people like that. Why didn't you oh, try I'm... that first? 
Oh, I'm super not using that powerful spell on some random guy. No, I wouldn't joking? either. I, are you joking? Unless we came away from that? fighting the dragon and we still had the scroll and it was like, okay, we'll free if the If I guy needed that to save one of you guys and I didn't have it anymore, that's far worse than me accidentally I mean, exploding green it. Like, I, I'm going to think about this for a while. Green dragons like, don't petrify fuck people. No one told us that. In no, the but lore? Great Restoration <laughs> is an incredibly powerful spell. Things. It doesn't just fix petrification. It really? fixed a lot of things. That's true. Also, it's fine. We're going to kill a fine. lot of people in the future who no, are very innocent. It's not, not, not innocent fine. chess players. In the slightest. I mean, we're going to be killing a lot of innocent people. No, we're not. Says who? <laughs> I didn't sign up for that. We're at war. Like, I'm the one who said we should do this in the first place and didn't want to yeah, kill okay. people. Yeah, okay. How many innocent do you plan on killing, Lazarin? Just because there's a war on. When I put it this in counter, it, this was mean? not one of the things that I thought you were going to go with, but here we are, man. Here we are. What do you mean this is what's going to happen? <laughs> what? We've Listen, been told people are going we... to die who get caught up in this war. This people are going to die who get caught up in this war, but not directly actions. at our hands because of us, right? We yes, didn't start yeah. the war. We're yes. soldiers in it. We're fighting other soldiers. This guy, not necessarily. he's not even from the same century as us, and you just fucking blew him up. I didn't mean to Damn blow him up. You... Forced him but you are to it off. move a piece and become Jay, a statue. You weren't here. You weren't also, here, Jax. All right, you should feel I know, flattered, but I've but lived a man three more lives than that man hell has. In an Seven. effort to get you back from being turned to stone. Also, also, Devin, it wasn't easy. Do you think that was easy for me? Do you think that comes De naturally to me? Well, it seems like it was very easy because you um, obviously did it very quickly. I mean, and also, and also, <laughs> hey, I'm very excited at this because if I don't, I'm going to break down and cry, have a panic attack. I'm not going to go anywhere near the fucking dragon. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> So which is the choice? I go, and we don't fight a dragon ever, because I'm just a scone to the wind, or we face the fact I did it, we move on. How many coppers are you going to have to sprinkle for your golden lady to get fucking forgiveness for this one? None, because she doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, she's a kind of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's kind of very much just into, here's a bit of money, you know? So... And we can't... I'm, and now... Uh, Dargan can't absorb the chessboard for the abilities to turn people no. into stone. I feel that like was, she was a, a potential plan. My other plan was I was gonna like somehow move a piece while exiting this body, and it would have meant sacrificing the the body you made me to stone. But I didn't want to do that because you worked so hard on it. And then what if I you couldn't also, get it back? We could I have also, just like grabbed some wildlife and just like held its little paw <laughs> the and then moved a piece. And, and then the bunny moved. <laughs> yeah, but would it, is it magical? It's enough to know that you're the one actually moving it. Yeah, what if it's a, what if the intent was needed? Like, we'll never know, but yeah. imagine. You oh, guys realize oh. you had a very simple solution to this, right? That man's last words were that I'm what? evil, all right? And then you blew him up. So I have well, to exactly. live with that now. What was the other simple Davian, solution? you're going to hate me for mm. the suggestion. Oh, mm. But we could have had a... Oh, move a piece. Oh, make Onu do it. No, we could have better. resummoned we him. We could have made fucking Hawthorne do it. God damn it, Kess, where were you? Okay. Where was, the, where was that suggestion? Yeah. Kess the background oh, goes, yeah, I like Hawthorne. Hawth Hawth <laughs> yeah, Hawthorne would have taken some sort of bribe, let's be honest. No, not here, so it Look, <laughs> so many I, I can't, options. I can't hate that suggestion because we can't see, even try it because the chessboard is gone and the man is exploded. Again, why is this such a big deal to you? Because there was many. It was an accident. No, but I think but it was a historical evidence person. to suggest that was a poor idea. If you ask this. Listen, yeah. his, his final thoughts. I'm just glad to do it when Jax was done. His final thoughts were of what a cunt I am. And I can't bear that. Because well, I'm not a cunt. Roche. I just yes. really needed Jax more than I needed that guy. I mean, you are, you are a cunt. <laughs> Davin, no, are. yeah, but I'm not a cunt that kills people like you. <laughs> Go around you, bragging so, about killing things. So, so. Innocent so, people. So just to be clear, innocent then, people Jabian, that just. just I'm not doing about that. You're gonna go through with it then. If he had called your bluff with your threat with the sword and said, "Fuck well, you," and ran, you would have. No, I wouldn't have killed him. Okay, just checking. I'm just. Checking. I was banking on him valuing potential life over guaranteed death. Okay, fair. I'm just. Checking. And if he I'm didn't, just, then I... then we I would vouch that we use a scroll. But if <clears throat> if I had been scroll. rudely interrupted by Lazarin's compulsive nature, I was going to say, we'll go fight the dragon and come back and try and fucking free him. He'd be really pissed. We may never find a way back here. We could get back. Yeah. How do we know we'd even be able to find also, our way back here? Don't. But at least it clears my conscience. 
Also, we are hundred percent not going back to this first get home. We're yeah, we're the same we're, trick. We're using the same trick I did last time. We're bamfing we're out of here immediately. We're, we're Listen, we're, we're, I, I just had like a half hour that. chat with a bunch of magical little yeah. spriggans, and I could have said, yeah, "Hey, you listen, there's a chessboard out there with a little geezer, and he's stuck." Why but not? maybe you can go and save him, and then we leave. We, the spriggans could have saved him. Maybe it was their trick anyway. That seems a rather sophisticated trick for them when you said they were talking can about I, and shitting and things. Can I look at... Oh, yeah, yeah, you know they that. made all those corpses, the big illusion of the field of corpses, to scare them off. They might shit in food, but they, they're magical. Mm -hmm. right, piss on, me off. Jax, I'm... Finish, your, finish your thought real okay. quick, Jax. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, you won't be able to teleport because of the mist. Ah, uh, be fine. I owe... I mean, you, you probably thought that would be fine, what just happened. Okay, yeah, I don't know if I trust my magical knowledge will fuck itself then. My bad. <laughs> fuck me. Yeah, I, I'm on Jax's side there. I don't uh, know what if... Difference? You want to look at the table? Uh, yeah, can I look at the underside of the table? Sure. Anything there? It's just a table. Just a table, man. Yeah, I'm of my taint. Like, God, thank God. If what? there was a magic crew in there, I would have killed myself. <laughs> there was a what? <laughs> what? It's like a like, rune underneath the table or some bullshit. I'll fucking just end it. Oh, a rune that just like you push a button and it disables the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be like, God damn it. No, it's just a table. That's fine. Well, yeah, well you, you really fucked there. that. Yeah. I guess we're gonna keep going now. And maybe, maybe from now on, unless it's your know, heat of combat, your life's in danger, maybe we discuss plans going forward or we discuss ideas. You know, I, I thought with Brooks being so quiet today that we might actually not have imp imp impulsive things. We might not have to deal with stupid shit. Sorry, you forgetting when there are lots of stress and bad decisions happen. Like, is this. Am I the only one who's like. Yeah, no, we're not forced for time right now. Okay. Elazarin. I feel like I'm not gonna beat myself up about this for a long time. I'm gonna be honest. It's okay. not it's not, not rent free. Well, they're not should. rent free. Yeah, cool, great. But you know, this pocket to worse. Like it was an accident. I mean to like explode him. Mm -hmm. I knew it was gonna happen. Well, you had to know that that was a potential consequence. Absolutely not. So I just you know. Didn't even explode. That's I thought maybe like he'd just be stuck forever and then I'd have to like Almost use the spell. Almost any elaborate magical trap, there's always consequences. Like even think about childhood fables. You use there's oh, always consequences okay. for fucking with shit like that. Listen, like, listen. I didn't read those sleep stories. Uh, and yet you're the educated one here, other than Jax, allegedly. Educated in a church. <laughs> True, actually, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that's that's like not that's not thing yet. You're right. Guess, we didn't even know his name. We can't even, like, have a funeral. We never asked. Oh, that's... oh fantastic. Also, he'd probably be dead to time anyways. What if he I mean, yeah, that, that was where children, I was going to go. I was going to tell him that everyone he loved and cared about is long dead, but... Oh, and I'm the fucked up one. Jesus. Listen, I... he was I had dead no intention to the world of hurting the man, at least physically, but I really <laughs> needed Jax back. I think we can all agree. Jack, the, it's, it's... Not, not to be too... Also too lived more you know, than most cynical and utilitarian about it, but the value of Jax's life far outweighs some right. random we found in the woods, right. at least as far as our perception goes. Potentially not, though, because has... I probably have less than a year to live anyways. And also, with all this right, this man was dead to the world, regardless. Oh my god, that doesn't make it okay. I was dead to the I'm world. Not going to, I'm not going to He do might as well be again. actually dead. <laughs> I mean, he did say he would sooner take death than being petrified as a statue. But listen, I didn't plan to leave him like that. You know, what's a week more as a statue while we go kill a dragon? However long he's been here, you know, he's holding on. And also, like, even if he, like, ran away, right, where the fuck is he going to go? He's just going to get lost and probably trapped and killed. He, he didn't run away, though, did he? Here. We're literally looking for a village of other people like us. Right. Maybe we found you know... that helped him. Or those okay. nice fur bulbs we met before. Okay, or they could have been they, his descendants. Or, they weren't that like, nice. Or like when they find I don't know maybe a dark crystal in the in these woods that exists here. Maybe he finds something as equally as fucked as that and has a much worse fate than being exploded. Okay, good. We don't then know. But the problem is, is that you chose his fate for him. He didn't have I didn't a choice. Choose... <laughs> he didn't have a choice anyway. Davian made him into a fucking statue again. By <laughs> exactly. him. Say, <laughs> I didn't fucking you kill the right. man. I certainly didn't. Yeah. Well, I did that. 
Well, technically, you, listen. You, you by rights you killed him because like this is you, you, you no, turned no, him no, back no, into no, a sentry no, because no. you didn't even let me explain that no, I no, no, intended no, no. on coming back and helping him. Diagon said she was having the same fucking idea as I, I did. Gonna... I was just the only one with balls enough to act on it. Silver because we lining, Jax. silver lining here. Lazarus just... didn't do that when Jax was still the statue. Because imagine if he tried that before. Like, that's then, what I was thinking. Even worse. See, that's what I was thinking. Originally, it was going to do it when Jax was a statue, but I was like, no, no what if it goes? if it goes wrong? Wait, no, no. Oh, you had done oh that, but it doesn't matter if it goes wrong. But it's a then. fucking innocent man. No, it's that's a random guy. Hold on, Lazarus, that's nonsense. So, like, saying there was it's enough risk that you, guy. there was enough risk in what you chose to do, and that you acknowledged. You said, "I'll wait till it's no longer Jax." Therefore, implying that you did think there was something that could go significantly wrong, but then you what? did it anyway. It's wrong enough that you did the statues. Of course, something weird's gonna happen. Man, if we were doing the whole alignment thing, this would be a fucking alignment shift in a fucking heartbeat. Well, this, this is why our both of them. Tag neutral characters what? and what? not what good from, characters. What from? What from? Completely pure neutral. <laughs> yeah, it's, that, I mean, this is some. Um, this is this is this is evil. Straight up evil. Yeah. Evil. Yeah. I think it's yeah. that far. I think it would turn you from good to neutral. It's not evil. It's, it's fucking evil. stupid. Yeah. This is not evil. This wasn't like a calculated oh. intent of evil. This was a uh, try it. Like you know, a true no, no, no. no. Davians was evil. pure evil. Yeah, no, pure evil. Oh, First purity of intention defines morality of our deeds. Okay, my no, intentions that's not what were perfectly intention fucking has... pure. <laughs> Hence the expression, the road to hell is paved with them, you know? Like... <laughs> anyway. God. I Dude, you killed an innocent man. We could do what? Huh? Really does you killed an innocent man. <laughs> I shit. I threw a fucking dagger at a chessboard. You guys freed they, I, I an innocent like man from a hundred years of petrification for a split second before threatening him, game. convincing him that you guys are evil monsters, turning back at the stone Let and then the exploding record show, him. I you know what's crazy? Two separate, I, I suggested two separate ideas. The crazy part uh, is, is if I hadn't been, if the Lajan hadn't been touched it, the guy would be alive. If what? If the guy had, if, if a Lazarin had touched the chessboard instead of me, the guy would be alive. That's the craziest part. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> All right. You guys are freaking well, out way more. With that uh, weighing on your conscious uh, conscience for the rest of your lives, what's next, gamers? <laughs> Not mine. Um, Jax takes exclusively his exclusively Jax know, takes uh, Davian's sword and stabs himself. Also, and, Davian, uh, it will <laughs> go in your conscience because you say I don't want him to think I'm a cunt for the rest of my life. That's weighing but heavily on your he shoulders. Will. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> lots of people think I'm a cunt. All right. Not, then why well, at least I haven't killed any fucking innocents. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're huge. <laughs> also, also, he might not be innocent. He might be in a horrible, horrible murderer. Okay. Oh, let's not play this fucking game, Elazarin, because you actually are a horrible, horrible murderer, and uh, now no, we no. have fucking evidence of that. And we didn't have any evidence of him. Sorry. This is like the... Sorry. Sorry, Listen. What, what evidence? Hmm? I don't remember anything happening. Walks away. <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> Don't need that in my life. <laughs> now, imagine this if, if uh, Bell was here, too. Just oh, no. The Kess, the Kess injections in this whole conversation would be wild. Uh, Kess would have been all for turning, making him, him move a piece, too. Kess would have oh, done yeah, the same thing Debian did. <sighs> no, but I mean, the, the dagger part. Yeah, Kess would have been on board for... Kess would have yeah, Kess would have started weeping and horrible yeah. shadow demons were showing up and that guy would have moved a piece just to escape the horror that <laughs> conjured around him. Like, <laughs> either way, it's still a pretty shitty thing to do. <laughs> all right, oh. well... On to um, the next, I guess, bit of tree line. See um, where we head next. Are we keeping the marching order? You know, Davy in the front. Uh, I'm at the front. Elazarin. Yeah, I'm at the back. And Elazarin's at the back, which is probably for the be best for everyone's sanity at this point. I don't point. want to be anywhere near Elazarin or Davy. That's fair enough. Not that I did. Uh, Davy, can you, you make me a survival really check? Attack. Laszlo, can you make mm -hmm. a perception check, please? Oh, do I see the fucking ghost of the statue? <laughs> What was his name? Did you give him a name? You roll a nat one hmm? because Dutch. you're now to. Yeah. Yep, Did you give him a name? Yeah. Oh, I'm like. Nice. Sorry, what do you mean? We'll just never know. You never know. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Dude, he could have been a ninth level wizard. He's actually an NPC from campaign one, and if we'd asked his name, we'd find that out. <laughs> it wasn't wrong. Survival was 14. <laughs> uh, he was so a was... half elf okay. named Elathrel. Okay. What a loser. Doesn't matter now. Uh -huh. A half elf named Elf. Glad he died. Yeah. Um, survival so was? 14. 14. You kind of, after that heated conversation, just get back to trying to track uh, any traces of draconic presence. 
and you catch a whiff of some putrid, poisonous gas. <laughs> Remnants of it. Uh, in a certain direction. Uh, Elasrin, what did you roll for Poisonous, putrid check? gas that I'm immune to. So, it's a total of 11, but it oh, is yeah. a natural one. Okay. He's so wrapped up now with what he just I'm right. did. Yeah. I'm like, it's hit me. I've had the He's like, haunted. oh, this is fine. I'm not like, man, I fucking killed a guy. Mm. And he was just, he was just a statue. I'm like, I'm going through my head of the like, I just blew up a statue. It's just a statue. It's just a statue. It's just a statue. It's just a statue. <laughs> oh, what a time for me to roll this, guys. <laughs> I need everyone's death except for a Lazarin for a moment. Oh boy. Oh, I hate that. How about this? Hi. Hey. Laszlo? Mm hmm. Can you make me? Charisma saving throw. With disadvantage. Charisma saving Disadvantage. Okay. Uh, that is a 19. Oh, no, sorry, 18. 18? Okay. You feel your consciousness sinking to the back of your head. Something else takes the rear. Takes, takes the wheel. Okay. You're not sure what it is. Okay. But all that is now your task mm -hmm. is to guide your group mm -hmm. to a location known as the Shaded Woods. Shaded Woods? And you now know exactly how to get there. Okay. So your mission is to basically convince the group to let you take charge so you, they, you can guide mm -hmm. them exactly to where you want. Okay. Alright. Cool. <clears throat> hello, hello. Hello. Um, um, so yeah, you, you, catch, you catch a whiff of... Uh, putrid poisonous gas not you know like like remnants of it traces of it which is a good indication of, of you know that you're getting closer to the whereabouts of potentially the green mm -hmm. dragon or at least a location where a green dragon <clears throat> has been before okay yeah. that's all stinky i'll look around what's like in the area uh, yeah, as you kind of push through the brush of this uh, tree line, the trees become a little more normal the further you go in, uh, more what you were, are used to, just these... Uh, the, the forest you're in right now is kind of this mixture of, like, fey wild trees combined with just the, the plain, material plain trees that you're used to having. Um, the, the phase rest, like, the mist is still very present here. Uh, and what you see in this area is you stumble upon a small hill. And you can see an opening in the hill. A cave. And you can see faint flickers of flame kind of... Faint escaping, flickers of flame. Escaping the, you know, like, light that it produces. Escaping the cave entrance. I don't know if I want to go in there. <laughs> So far, I've been, other than Spriggans, like, nothing positive in this place. Do we just keep going, or do we go bother to investigate? Because we know it's not the dragon's lair, because the smell's not strong enough. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Probably kobolds. Kobolds <laughs> like tunnels, not, that's what you said. Not the village we're looking for. Yeah. I'm down to continue on and just ignore this temptation if anyone el if everyone else is. I mean, if it's just kobolds, right? Davian seems to be the best to know. Is it, is it like one of the kobold, like? Does it look like one of the kobold dwellings? Any type of thing they might build? Mm. <clears throat> make, a, make a nature check with advantage, because you previously were, like, the kobold wiki, so I'll give you advantage on, on this. <laughs> D &D .wiki fandom. Nature, 26. Um, yeah, this this could very easily be kobold, uh, a kobold lair or, or some Sorry, kind 25. of... Sorry, ah, 25. Same result. This, this, this fall, yeah. the, what you see from where you are, this, this 
falls into the same vein as like, yeah, there's all of these things, like a cave in the woods would very much be cobalt country in a wood in a forest where there is a dragon present, yeah. It's it is more than more than likely cobalt country, I would say we stay well away from the cave and yeah. keep pressing on for the village. That sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Onwards. As you kind of pass uh, the cave, um, what's your passive perceptions again? Like, who, which one of you has a passive perception higher than 15? My, uh, 20. Yes. I've got 20. Kess has got like 24. Yeah, but like, I of the people that are here. So, Davian, uh, oh. uh, me and Elazarin. You and Elazarin. Yeah, Dem's got 17. I've got 20. I think I've like a 16. Okay, so you as well. So, everyone barring Daigon, essentially. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> um, any of you speak Draconic, perchance? Fuck no. I do. You do? You hear... Yeah, with the hat. He everything. Oh, the hat! Oh, true, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't. You hear a cacophony of voices echoing from within the cave as you kind of walk past. I'm assuming kobolds speak Draconic. Yes. Uh, yes, And do. you hear, Davian, that they are saying, they're chanting, All hail Brixoth, our king. With him, these woods are ours. All who live within are blessed to have such an incredible leader. All who oppose him shall taste his poison, and their bodies will serve as compost to the trees of the woods. His domain is ever-changing, his dominion everlasting. All hill bricks off, our king. I hear the voices of kobolds shouting praise to bricks off. Well, that's and pleasant. Good, well, then it's a good thing we didn't go in there and waste valuable time and resources fighting them. Yeah, because oh, the Spriggans will do that for us in an exactly. undefined no, no, amount of time. They won't be fighting them, but they'll be distracting them. Chain opens. I'm hoping that there's some level of warfare. I really do. I, I think it'd be amazing. I think they'll get, they'll get wiped. They'll, no, they'll they won't. They're fucking magical. The Kobolds are fucking stupid. They've got the pointy sticks. They can do great. It's okay. If they can conjure up illusions the size of small forest clearings to fill them with dead bodies to deter intruders, then I'm sure they can do much worse to their foes. That's true. Maybe. Okay. Very true. Anyway, let's press on, shall we? Seconds. Um. Yeah. So you you kind of move past the cave, and again, there's just a fucking forest everywhere you look. Um. Yeah. Make another survival check. Oh, that's me. Mm -hmm. Uh, 19. This is where things get tricky. Mm. The deeper you get into the woods, um, there's several paths that all present you with remnants and traces of chronic presence. At this point, you can see one path has more cobalt tracks. There's another path that just reeks of poison. There's another like path that you can take. You can see it's like burrow uh, holes that like the remnants of, of, of things bursting out of the ground or digging through. Uh, there is an area where you can see the glimmer of like like scales that have been kind of been fell off of a a, a being to kind of chill there. So there's there's a, a lot of options at this point. Like there's four different paths for you to take mm -hmm. that all have some kind of traces of draconic presence, so you're not too sure. I am desperately and distinctly on the lookout for any kind of tracks that may appear to be human. Human? Or humanoid, humanoid. I should say. Um, well, none, none of that here. None of that here. Can I... It's gonna sound insane. Kind of like vibe check the tracks. So like, what? Well, what gives you like a good vibe? What gives me like a good like? Define like, vibe uh, checking. <laughs> I, like, I don't know, dude. I just <coughs> no. Uh, Do my crystals give me any uh, like wavelengths? Yeah. So which one upsets my chakra the least? Oh. Uh, no. Hmm. I I will I will. Uh, can can I like look a little bit ahead on the paths like? Not like go um, too far, so I like, can just see where like if there's anything that's more distinguishing. Make a perception check. That one. Uh, it's a twenty-two. Okay. Even though it's still very hard to look through the tree yeah, lines, sure. you 
kind of give it a, a give every like path that you could potentially take a look, mm. and the ma the majority of them, um, like all of them seem to lead further into like another area. Yeah. Um. There's one. You catch a glimpse where the forest gets a little darker. Um, okay. More. It's like a darker it's a section of it's or... no darker as in like you see dead trees and the fact that you know you know green dragons have a poison breath mm. you reckon those trees like the closer you get to the lair the less alive the trees will be maybe oh, okay um, so that is a, an indication that, that might be to, a, a way to get closer to the lair or at okay. least a place where Brixoth you know, that Brixel frequents. Yeah. Is it... Yeah, I'll t I will turn to the group right here. It's like, well, we got that option. I don't... Do we want to go somewhere that's more... Like, are we going... I assume we're, like, aiming, obviously, to get to Brixel, but do we want to try and get to this village? We're aiming for uh, the village first and foremost. So, do we think that the village is going to be in that bit, or do we think it might be on these other paths, and we'll just go... Like... I don't know. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, when we were given the options, you said like there was, you know, what, 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 hmm. there was like poison breath and cobalt yeah. hole and scaly. Yes. I don't. Are think they the really cobalt like hole. definitive differences, or are these just all, all paths are a bit dragony? All paths, all paths are a bit dragony. dragony. Um, okay. And they all lead to different things like. Directions. Lady I think has we a scale, but not poison breath. Maybe so. Like we I should was, go scale way, not breath way. I was thinking maybe. Obviously, we don't go the cobalt, like the whatever burrows way, right? That just seems mm. like more cobalt. I think. The, I mean, the breath way and like the dead trees. It could maybe be like, has he hit the village previously, and then the, they've set it up in the remnants, and he's not going to come back anytime soon. Is he? You know, I I have a. <sighs> I have a feeling that maybe it might be a place that he doesn't come back fully. I don't know, the scales could, again, as you say, could be that. I don't know. I, I think it might be worth going the way the way of the, the breath. Because I think the camp might be set up near. But... I mean, essentially, yeah, what you're I'd saying is the ladder. Like, essentially, what you're saying is the best place for them to have a village is a place where it's not as likely for Brixoth to come back. Kind of thing. To come back, yeah. That's why my like logic. And why would he come back to an area? That's why would he come back to here? Because he's already like desecrated it, right? He's I, I just, like from what we know, green dragons. They're also pretty like they like their land, right? They're not they're not also ones to like be overly paranoid, right? They think, oh, I've destroyed this, it's destroyed, or are they like very. Um, no, they're, they're like definitely, they're, they aren't, they are territorial, but they are, you yeah. know, it's not like they were told that they are territorial, but yeah. not in the sense of, I need to, you know, they, it's not like they, every inch of their territory matters, it's just, um, fuck, what was the exact explanation you got? Wait a minute, hold on. Um... Territorial, like to stalk their prey, um, yeah. kind of move around. They'll, they'll have a central lair at, like, the heart of its territory. Yeah. And basically, the closer and closer you get to the heart of the lair, like, the actual lair, yeah. is the more protective of the territory he becomes. Like, he's he consi essentially, Brixoth considers the entire forest to be his, yeah. but doesn't go out of his way to make sure yeah. that every inch of the forest is... It's good, yeah. Cats. Okay. It's yeah. Knowing knowing that, I will say, I'm like, I think probably this is gonna be not the safest, but it's the most un like. It seems the more likely to maybe house the village. I know it seems like I don't. Know, we don't really have much other choice. Like, over, you yeah, know what I mean? Like, other fair. than flipping coin or whatever. <clears throat> like, that just that's the logic to me. I don't know. And I'm gonna like start to walk that way. I guess we're. Uh, Elasrin's logic might have killed an innocent man, but in this case, I suppose. I don't really have I any can't, better reason. I can't have three, like two or three bad ideas at once, can I? 
can I just like continue walking? Yes, you absolutely can. But oh shit! When, yeah, I'll, I'll be very like. You uh, follow. You all follow Lazarin as he kind of moves further into the woods. Yeah. Uh, and you enter an area of woods that is very different. You can still see this like fog kind of hanging around. But the trees here are dead. There's barely any light. It is completely engulfed in shadow. Very good, we've made it. It's like this one was useful after all. And as Elazarin says that, oh, fuck. you can see his body beginning to shift as this energy kind of leaves Elazarin's um... body and impacts on a small hilltop before you. And what you see emerging after the light kind of fades, you can see coming from behind the trees. A humanoid looking individual wearing a nice shirt, uh, brown hair, good, and a nightweb neck tattoo. Oh, oh good. good. You see a human donning a green cloak, leather armor, and a bow, also with a nightweb neck tattoo. As well as the nightweb uh, get up kind of spread around his armor. And four more figures emerge. And you're beginning to see a pattern. One is an Ergonasi. It's us. It's with us. A neck tattoo. It's us. It's One us. is a hairless tabaxi <laughs> with a nightweb neck tattoo. One is a Vidalcan wearing red armor and this like same hat as Jax's with a with spiderweb, like a nightweb neck tattoo. And lastly, coming you. from behind, like, kind of in the like middle, me. in the middle of the ha. pack, you see Lazarin's like copy emerging with like a nightweb neck tattoo, <clears throat> the nightweb all over his 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 armor. These are these these appear to be copies of you, but these copies of you very much under the employ of the nightwebs, and they can see They're that changelings. they you know they this. look slightly more menacing than you do. And you can see, just like, you can read the malice in their eyes as they all unsheath their weapons and begin storming towards you. I mean, I feel like as far as, like, we're doing a shorter session today, but I feel like as far as places to end it and kind of, like, leave it on a... That's the best place to see, end it, because we're going to go and fight them one. with the others. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're fighting our doppelgangers, like... <laughs> Yeah, Although so... Although jokes on them, they can't truly be my doppelganger because they're not a ghost robot. They're hairless. True. Robots. true. No ghost they robots are. here. I win. <laughs> Which might even be scarier, the fact that this is, like, you know, they they, they decided to look like what I look like Because they know I hate my old body. It's extra um, mind games. Yeah, so yeah. basically what happened was Elijah rolled a natural one on his perception <clears> check, <throat> which triggered a very <laughs> specific <laughs> thing where That's he true. then also failed the saving throw needed to avoid this, and he... Some nice. kind of spirit it, took over he got, to like, control, possessed and his mission. Like here. I basically told him, your mission is to take control of where the group is going because you have a specific destination in mind and you know how to get there. Uh, the shaded God. woods. I know I shouldn't trust the shaded woods, which is where you are now. So we'll, uh, I, uh, to be fair, I, uh, <laughs> we just kind of conceded it to him. Can we get a vibe check? Yeah, you you did. Fucking dumb cunt. <laughs> But uh, mm. yeah, good shit. All right. So we'll, we'll start off next session with you guys fighting yourselves. That's going to be interesting. Uh, um, there's a, like, when that spirit leaves me, is that quite like a, like, oh, fuck, I've just, like, realized what's happened? Or am I kind of, like, always self known? Um, you were very much present. Guess, like, you were aware of what was happening. Present, you, were, like, like, you were, like, locked it. up in the back. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm doing you the, were like, not able, you were not able to stop yeah. it. So you were there. You know? Cool. cool. Well, that's fine. Now, gonna, now the real question is. Which was the wrong way. Does a Lazarin use this event after the fact to convince us all that that's why he killed the innocent man? <laughs> oh, does he go, hey, surprise, that was actually possessed this whole time. I imagine. All right. Yeah, I think this is That'd a good That'd be crazy that I was little, definitely uh, taking that. Nice little cliffhanger to end it on, because we were going to end in 15 minutes anyway. Uh, exactly. For a like, shorter session, might as well. Now then, a shorter sesh, but um, we should be back next week. And uh, <gasps> Wait a minute. Start off. Oh, no. Oh, hold note. on. This is where Laura hold says, on. I'm always oh, there. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. What is today? Sunday. Wow. Well, no. day. Yeah, I told my mom I'd go to her place. I might have to tell her too, but <laughs> I might be like, sorry. <laughs> oh no! Fuck. Okay, I'll figure it out. Um. Well, let us know. <laughs> yeah, I'll figure it out. But well, uh, for now, good session. We'll pick this up next week. Hope you guys enjoyed some some random weird encounters in this really random uh, weird forest. Yeah. 
made friends with I'm some I'm so Spriggans. disappointed in you, Koiba. <laughs> Mind control. I wrote, by the way, I wrote uh, uh, 17 on the save. But now listen, no, no, no. That oh, part could have happened to any of us. Oh, true. I can't believe yeah. you guys killed an innocent guy. It, killing the innocent <laughs> half-elf. You guys are crazy. I can't believe you guys are so fucking wrapped up in this. It's fine. <laughs> We're heroes. That was, the, that was the, the closest, like, we have yeah. come to just deliberately killing an innocent person for no good reason. You know. Uh, that's fair. I will say, Tony Dex said, didn't think he'd explode. Oh, yeah. That wasn't, that wasn't in my, like, thing. But, I thought maybe he might turn to stone for, like, ever. Like, that's fine. We, that's un I, like, I literally you know tweeted know what's, you know what's, you know what's it's fucked up? Like, you fuck with it, yeah. you kill everyone involved. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, the you fucked up it, thing like, there is... Kill switch. Um, the only way to really do it was either someone sacrificing themselves or using yeah. magic to get rid of the petrification. Because if you were to like, oh, we'll just finish up the game. Whoever loses the game will become stone permanently. <gasps> that's fun. Ooh, that's cool though. That's a cool twist. <laughs> it could have just like... You know what? I could have been way less evil if I thought about that and just told the guy that if you fin well, we promise to finish the game and then you'll both be free. And then yeah. lied, and then as soon as he'd moved, been like, well, all right, Jax, let's go. What well, I'm thinking... I, no, because even in that case, Elijah still would have killed him, so what does it no, matter? What I'm thinking is we should have, when we free Jax, I should have waited, and then it's been fine. Yeah, <laughs> then, exactly. Could, could you should have just, like, just either had, like, a conversation. said, hey, guys, yeah. what if I did this? And then we all would have said, no, that seems like a bad idea. Or just not done anything, and then we kill the dragon, yeah. and then I say, "Hey, let's we we didn't use the great restoration," and then you all would have been like, "No, I want to teleport what? home," and I'll be like, "Let me call well, my boy Rig. Let, Let me call my boy Rig, Rig. <laughs> and and he will save the dude, and then probably rob him blind and leave him to die alone in the woods. But at least it won't be on our hands." Yeah, because we freed. But you know, to yeah, kinda, you know, it 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 did that like what happened did make for a very interesting like what the fuck like a very interesting scenario <laughs> that might. Haunt and I mean, while it's some sad, characters at least for a little while, like, oh, God, I his that. brain must also feel a little bit good. He's like, hey, they were willing to do all that because they care about for me little that old much. me. Like, no, Jax, feel Jax just bit. feels shitty about the whole thing. <laughs> Not even a little bit. The back of your brain is like, but uh, hey, at least. Oh, no, he's like, dude, much. I've lived three lives. That guy didn't even have to live one. Hey, he's a half elf. He could have been around for. Uh... Yeah, he could have been older. The average... Maybe a little over a hundred max. Half elves. Yeah, I think that's it's... a little longer than many races' lifetimes. I know half so... half elf is about the same as humans, between like eighty to ninety. Yeah, see, I, th I thought it wasn't that. But uh, hey, man, I hope you guys enjoyed today. Like the first little intro I bit did. of the forest, yeah, finding I some, loved it. like everything. Like, I have like thirty possible like things that you can like yeah. fit into. Uh, I just so to, I every time you guys progress from next to a new area, I just kind of. And like Roll after every like certain amount of sections you successfully go through, yeah. there will be like a set in stone encounter, yeah. and that's kind of how we progress to gotcha. where things go. So essentially, uh, once you get to your first set in stone mandatory encounter, that will be the village, and then there will be a couple more after that, and eventually the last set in stone uh, encounter will be you find Brixalt Slayer. That's kind of how this works. There's yeah. X amount oh, of yeah. random places you visit on your way to each set in stone mandatory encounter, and eventually you'll get to where you need to go. So yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Next time we'll start off by you guys fighting yourselves. So I'm gonna have to study all of your character sheets <laughs> and make sure that I know kind of what every character does. Do you need me? Oh. To let me know if you need me to send you an updated. Yes, Koi, but that means he will also mind. use his dome. Go fuck yourself. It'll be um, a dome versus guys, dome fight. It's, guys, we kill the fucking Kirk <laughs> so quick. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. It's not, it's not even funny how quickly we fucking kill that guy. How much health do you have? Just so I can plan a new. Or, or oh, do they? I have this other question. Do they have? They like, don't get a hero's feast buff. They don't have the hero feast buff, right? You need me, or do they? Because if or they do, then we're. It's they get shouldn't. Buff. Because oh, yeah. how long have they been changelings that have been, like, impersonating us? That they didn't have a hero's feast. Who said they are changelings? Yeah, it might be yeah. doppelgangers, uh, which means they take our stuff completely. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll just have to wait Question. and find out. Nice. Yeah. Question for you, Koiba. Does the Hello. dome, casting the dome, have a verbal spell? Code? It's not a spell. Shit. That's a problem. Because I could always, because their version of me is not a ghost. Therefore, they don't have something that can possess people. But I can possess people and make them fuck up the verbal component of their spells. I so mean, I can you could possess, possess yourself and, and then just be Daigon again. 
I don't want to though. That's no fun. You could <laughs> you could possess the version of me and but make yeah. him just start attacking them, and he'll be just as useless as me attacking them. Well, no, it's more so because I can my ninth level abilities. I can basically mess up people's spell casting because I can make them say the wrong thing while I'm possessing them. If it's a verbal component to the spell, That's, is that like a reaction or something? Yeah, it's my reaction. That's is I cool. force them. Sick, I manipulate yeah. their speech and force them to say a short phrase, or I can use my reaction to force them to fumble the incantation of their spell. I can also make All them right. have a disadvantage on that save. So, That's dope. yeah, yeah. But um, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, next week is gonna be fun. Um, yeah, that was a good. That that was fun. That was a no, fun, fun session. It's a fun. And like Ray, I hate my teammates. Little Spriggan buddy. Wrong. Hey, what did I do? I think it's alright. Fuck you say fuck me for. <laughs> other, than, other than I admitted that I all I said was I had an idea. Like I was thinking something similar to what Devin was thinking, but I was like that's, I don't want to act on it. Yeah, but you didn't do it. Took long enough not to act on it, but I was thinking you about didn't it. Do it. That's <laughs> that seems more fucked to me. I just killed a random. That's guy. me considering all options. That's all it is. <laughs> I just threw a dagger at chessboard. I don't know. Whatever happens after that doesn't uh, happen to me. I just threw a dagger at chessboard, guys. God damn it. I hope I can be here next session then. I'll I just held the gun that fired the bullet that yeah, killed him. Yeah, I mean, him. if it's just you, we'll play. Oh, yeah, the I thing is, all... like, we, yeah. we played with two people down today as well. So, like, you know what I mean? If it's just me, then I'll just be like, I'll figure out, like, sorry. Bell, I think I think I Belle mentioned that she wouldn't be here for the next two weeks. Oh, so week, so yeah, Belle's yeah. not going to be here either. I think. I remember her saying that she'll have... Yeah. Family things. Because of her situation, though, yeah. she's like the two people. It's like two people gone, excluding Belle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In that's and true. out. Yeah, so true. if anyone other than Belle is also absent, then I might just keep the plans I had. But if it's just going to be me, I might just be like, sorry. Uh, well, with Ethan's work schedule, you've got a pretty good chance. So. Yeah. yeah, obviously, this is yeah. one of those things where I would like it to for everyone. Oh, yeah, no. I, there, I, if it's if it's happening, I will find a way to be here because I'm not missing. Is, that sounds uh, like a really cool fight. Yeah. This is like, cause, yeah. you know, like the fight. Mechanically, the fight's gonna be really, really fun. If I say yeah. so myself. I just realized I don't need to send you my character sheet because my doppelganger isn't a lingering soul. So you can just look at my old monk sheet and then just maybe Who add maybe the levels. Maybe she is a lingering soul inhabiting Daigon's, a Daigon corpse. You don't know. Oh, I hope not. That's no fun. Um, that would be so fucked. In, a, in all seriousness, send me a character sheet. As well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun. I'm get, basically gonna be fighting you. With your own characters, and that's gonna be really fun. <laughs> it's gonna be really good. I can't wait just, to get. I really don't want to fight me. It's straight that's out a... of Baldur's Gate Three: Gauntlet of Shar. Like just yeah. that whole ass. Dutch, part. Du Dutch is really gonna fuck it. Dutch is gonna really fucking hit us with the like all the shit that we do that's annoying to him. He's gonna be like, "You guys get fucking game this back." I don't do <laughs> anything annoying. No. Does it right, include items? Silvery barbs. Um. Fuck! Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't even think about that. Uh, not everything. Uh, they definitely, like, the weapons look the exact same. Like, he had your bow. Um, Armor-wise, they just look like, you know, the plain version of you. So, like, they, your your clone wasn't wearing the dragon mask. Um, right. But armor -wise, But he did have the acid more longbow. He did have the, the acid more longbow, yeah. Like, the bow looked I exactly had the, the fucking same. dragon, whatever, killing so, sword. It looks like weapons and other, other armaments, it seems they have. But as far as like armor, it, it just looks pretty plain, plain, plain Jane. The fuck you guys wear that isn't your enchanted sick getups, I guess. Yeah. But uh, yeah, pick us up next week, gamers. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll be here next Sunday. Bye bye. Bye bye. Later.